Hi, Joe. Did the game get good? No, yesterday was possibly the worst stretch of the game so far. It was really dull. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Like, even, even the boring parts... Maybe I've just consumed too many Uchikoshi stories now, and I'm just like... If it's not being crazy off the wall wacky, I don't care. Because, like, even VLR, when it was being really boring, or sorry, when it was being slow, not boring, um, even when it was being slow, it still had the overarching mystery, and that was really interesting. You're like, okay, what's going on? It would drip out these little details that you could, that you could, um, piece together, and had some cool moments. And so far, like, I don't give a shit about the mystery in this game, so. It doesn't have that going for it, but also the character interactions aren't that great. So, like, Tom is alright, but even that's wearing a bit thin. Ryuki is just a nothing, and I'm gonna guess that we're gonna find out why he's a nothing very soon. Um, maybe because he's literally a nothing. Like, he was grown in a vat and came from nothing. It's symbolism, don't you get it? Like, just, just nothing. I don't... I don't know why they did this, man. Like, it's kinda... kinda boring. Once again, the way you feel about this game is how I felt about the first one I played it, which is why I never played the second. Oh, you didn't like the first one? I can see why people wouldn't like the first one. I only liked the first one because because uh, it was funny. And I liked the structure of it, most mostly. It started to wear thin by the end, but uh, I liked the structure of it. But I liked the comedy. Maybe I have a soft spot for comedy because I know how hard it is to do comedy. I finished it, it does in fact get good. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. We need to go deeper into Iris's mind. So we need to find out where this execution chamber is, yeah? Somni, yep. I know where Kizuna is. What? How could this happen? I, I legit don't know what he just said. What What did he say? I. All right, so we're going back here. I lied. We're going back here. Start the sink. Start the sink already. All right, time to put the pee in the sink. What do you think of AI? Amazing, scary, difficult, useful, difficult. It's not as hard as romancy. Two-way mirror. It is the same two-way mirror as the interrogation room. Due to the lack of a wall, it appears to be floating. Looking good, Iba. Break it. Who is the most beautiful person in this world? I know it's going to be me, but ask anyway. Mm-hmm. Mirror, who is the most beautiful person in the world? What? It's me, Kagami! True. No, it isn't. Sit, stand. Alright, so where, where was the split? Oh, it was right here. Oh, okay. It's a folding chair. I thought it was at the end for some reason. Okay, so if you weren't here for the other streams, right now we, we got the information to um, to uh, go on the other line. So you have to go and see the Ryuki part first, and now, oh, the bitrate. And now we're going over to uh, the Mizuki line. What is this? Oh, did I pick wrong? Oh, why is, why is Tom here? Mr. Dante's house. Oh yeah, because we're Som Somni and Tom. Tom was still with Ryuki fucking like six years later. They didn't take her away from him after he went to the hospital or whatever. Like really? Okay. Do you know the culprit? Yes. I... the culprit's name... I know. Yeah, wait, hold on. Was it... was it... H L or L H? It was L H, right? Dali ha. Be koi of of so. How can it not be? How could it not be that? How could it not be that? It's be be koi of so. <laughs> it's H L. All right. That is a fucking weird ass name. D boat. Boat, that, that, that has to be an anagram, right? Or is it just so weird because it's like a decoy anagram? That is such a weird fucking name. Huh? Why 
do I... this name? Dude, you were there. I know at least one Dahlia boat in my life. Well, I mean, who doesn't? But only one. That's why it's such an unusual name. You only know one Dahlia boat. Oh, she's doing it too. Intrusion ported. She's just fucking with him. Okay, I was starting to think that Iba and Tama were the same entity, but I guess not. All right. What the hell, Iba? What's this posture? What are we doing? And now you just do the same Somnium, Lameo. All right. Return Ryuki to sanity. All right. He's this torn up this about Date dying? Is, it's the cathedral. He's not even oh, dead. Oh, so this is what you were talking about. Huh? Wait. There are more mental locks? I will scan again. Yes! Somnium scan activate. Burning sword. There could be more mental locks? Unknown. Everything about this is extraordinary. Oh, Ryuki. Vegeta. Boat. Dahlia. Boat. We saw him bleed, right? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how, how like, more being legit moves into this. We saw him bleed, right? So he isn't, like, some, some morbing robot. That can like, m like, that has the power of morbing through technology. No, it's not that. Okay, what, 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 what is he then? What's this? Maybe Tama can do that. Is this Ryuki? Dahlia, boat. Mizuki, that red aura is bad news. What's, what did Peter get here? The time compression element waves are off the charts. You get caught by it, you'll lose time. Run! Girl from yesterday with the statistics exam, I passed. Aw, oh, heavy pog! Congrats on passing. Good job. Good job. Run? Where? I'm trapped! Calm down, Mizuki. That Ryuki has neither a shadow nor a face. It's a fake it Ryuki. It must be a shadow image created by the regrets Ryuki carries. When you see something so unstable, you only need to show it reality. Confront both. <laughs> Show it reality. <laughs> this does not bode well. Um, what what are you cooking? All right, you're going over there. All right, hello, hi, yes. False this eye. This is Ryuki's AI ball. Tama? There is no response, but most likely. Impression of Tama. Call for Tama. Throw it. Let's throw it. Put it in Ryuki's left eye socket. Play baseball with his face, huh? That's not what I picked. I will aim for the left eye socket. I just said throw it. I did it. Oh. Wow, bullseye. Are you okay, Iba? Oh, eyes hurt. This whole thing is a mess. Ryuki's broken mind was not very interesting. Ryuki's AI ball. Oh, I thought you said you did it. You didn't, though. Impression of Tama. You know what? That's going to be funny. Let's do that. Oh, then we're gonna get a times two that's gonna make it 30. You know what, YOLO? Hey, it's me, Tama. Ryuki, make sure you get plenty to eat and get lots of energy. This is your best impression? Tama. Oh, it got a reaction. I knew it. My impression was so good, it pulled his heartstrings. N no, that's not it. Don't you think the real Tama would have gotten a bigger reaction? Ryuki something with something 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 are still held something. What do you mean? That wasn't that wasn't whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Was that another reverse sink? Where am I? Wasn't there a cage like that in the first game? Is this Mizuki when she was a kid? Intrusion boarded. Ryuki's consciousness broke through again. Earlier you said it was fine. Apologies. It is much stronger than I was expecting. Ugh. We need to be careful. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, this sucks. I thought we got it right. Call for Tama. Tama, that's you, isn't it? Help Ryuki. Oh, it's really Tama. Ryuki, get a hold of yourself. Are you gonna hold on to these regrets forever? Do what you need to do. What I need to do... What I need to do is... Almost sane. Yep, this is going well. Six years wallowing because Date died. Alright. Ryuki got along with Date, and only Date. Even though Date was dead, feelings are still held for Date. Hama was Ryuki's anchor. She kept him tethered to the real world. Right. <laughs> hmm. That rubble there. Is that lower than before? Do we have another time limit? You have four minutes remaining. Maybe we have less than that. Maybe Pewter doesn't like Somnios. Maybe he just likes counting down. Hey, Ryuki. I... Justice. Oh. This is Boss's room. Oh, Date! And Boss! I'm so, so sorry. Fuyuki, how many times do I have to say this? I can't assign you anything if you're going to carry on with this ridiculous sense of justice you have. I understand. Listen, I'm glad you caught the burglar. But when they started crying, you bought them lunch and took them on a drive. <laughs> how silly, right? <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're being suspended for two weeks. You can't leave your house. Take time to reflect. <laughs> How is that justice? What? Ryuki, you're pretty everyone based. makes mistakes. Even me. I always make mistakes. And every day I get an earful from an artificial intelligence eyeball and a grade schooler. But it's okay to make some mistakes, as long as it's in pursuit of justice. So, don't falter now, Ryuki. Buy me lunch. I won't. I've never seen Date being such a good superior. Mr. Date, I made a mistake. <laughs> that, that, that is the only meaningful interaction between these two we're gonna see, isn't it? <laughs> that's it. That's that's all they're supplying for the foundation of this really important relationship is one moment of, of mentorship. What the fuck? All right, cool. What is justice to me? Mr. Date. This isn't an illusion, right? I remember this conversation. I mean, it's a song. You should cheer him up. What do you mean you remember it? How are you here? What do you mean? Ryuki got along. <laughs> Ryuki got along with Date. <laughs> and only Date. <laughs> what? Are. <laughs> Cheer up. Cheer up. Pumpkin. Huh. Alright, uh, I think it's probably gonna be the coffee. Stop drinking that, drink some coffee instead. Try. How about some coffee? Coffee, coffee. Oh, there's another one! Nothing better than drinking boss's coffee without permission. I've never been more wrong. One mistake teaches you more than a hundred successes. Who do you hear that from? Homeless guy I drank with the other day. <laughs> Smart, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. What the fuck, Dante? Oh, that was it? Okay. And look up to and looked up to him. Like, literally oh, solid. Strange advice. Yeah. We're surrounded again. Dahlia. Boat. Ew, it's the creepy Ryuki. Aiba, be careful. Yes. If we show it the truth again, this space might disappear too. Three minutes left. You can do this. 
Uh oh. Oh, when we when we touch him, we get invaded. Oh. Door. It's like Dark Souls, only it's a pink spirit. Okay. And we lose time. Well, this sucks. Looking good, Tama. That's the pillar of a merry-go-round. Intrusion thwarted. Well, I don't think we're getting this done in time. Sorry. Ryuki's consciousness broke through again. Yeah, let's be careful next time. Shut up, Mizuki. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. You died be a careful. lot in Hypnospace, which is pretty much this again. All right, do we go to the right or the left? What's this one? Gun. It's an evolver. We might be able to use this. Shoot Ryuki. Fire a warning shot. Shoot yourself. I... What are we trying to do? Are you sure? This might have ill effects on Ryuki's mind. Yeah, it'll be fine. Aiba, at times like this, pretend what you're shooting is made of jelly. That's what my master taught me. What's jelly got to do with this? <laughs> my apologies, Ryuki. I have no choice. Mr. Dante, please forgive me. Whew, went away. Oh, that was it. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Uh oh. Dahlia. Boat. Another Ryuki. When it rains, it pours. We need to deal with them, too. Hurry. Ryuki's broken mind was overcome by shock and erased. What do you want from an anime? Nothing. Story, voice actor, visual, hype. Voice actor. Right, voice actors give life to characters E. Chat, I have a question that I could Google, but I'd rather ask you, okay? So, let's go Let's go with triplets, because that's, that's easier, right? Let's say someone is a part of a triplet, right? So they're, 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 they have, um, in, in terms of family, right? And you, so there's, let's just say it's three, three brothers, all right? So three brothers are triplets, right? If only two of the brothers are hanging out, right? Can they say I'm hanging out with my twin? Can you still call them your twin if you're a triplet, or do you say that's my my trip, or whatever? Like, what what what's what's the other word for that? Could you introduce this is my twin? Also, I have another twin. I think you should be. I think twin is fine, right? Also, but I but I have another twin. You just never asked. My trip. Well, if you're if a part of a quin my 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 quin. I don't know. Would it be? Could you say this is one of my twins, but they're not twins? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking. It's kind of it's kind of weird, right? Is there not... This is one of my triplets? I don't think you can say my my triplets, right? I don't think that works. Can't you just say my bro like a normal human being? I mean, you could, but you also look alike. You're gonna look like a twin. I'm just asking what, what would be correct. I think twin is fine. I think you can have more than one twin. Oh, what's that over there? Uh, we have to go to the thing in the back, right? It's gotta be this. Oh shit, what's this over here? M metal pipe. That's for, that's for Mizuki. We're not Mizuki. We're Aiba. Time bomb. What is this? A time bomb. Aiba, run! Make it explode. Do not worry. It is not active. Change and it. And we might be able to use it for something. Like what? Take apart. Throw. Activate. Hmm. Okay. Taking it apart might be good. We could activate it, and if it doesn't work, we have a one three. We could use our equals twenty here. Ooh, do you want to use the equals 20 on this one? It would make some people mad. I do enjoy making people mad. But then what if it's throw? It could be throw. Oh, let's do it. And just like that, it's armed. Mizuki, what do we do? Wh what? 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 Throw on ground, throw, eat, throw, throw, Fly, throw. Ryuki. Throw, yeah. Fly. Kizuna, Mizuki. It flew away. Hopefully, that will not negatively impact Ryuki. I'm really we upset. I didn't to. use the equals twenty. If we didn't 20. get rid of it, we would have been blown up. Well, it may have been a tad excessive. Oh, 
What's going on? Left and right are reversed. Is this from Ryuki's dream? Ryuki's dream is getting creepier and creepier. Ryuki can't... He. Alright. Okay, where are we supposed to go? To to him, I guess? Okay. Do, 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 do. Ryuki! Is this... Brahmin? Genny's place. Oh, Date and Ryuki. And Genny too. None of you get it. You don't appreciate how good at my job I am. Okay, I think you've had enough to drink. If you want a drink, we should go to Marble. This place has good food, not drinks. <laughs> it's okay. What? I'm such an arrogant piece of shit. Looks like we need him to cheer up a little. Whoa, was that ice? What's that? This guy requires so much maintenance. Examine the Genisha, please. All right. Ryuki got along with Date and looked up to him. Something are still held fondly in his heart. Suzuki, you're out of time. Ryuki deleted his hard drive. Like yes, right? Ryuki, it's Ganesha. Why not try praying? Why is she Some saying it wrong? Pray to gods, and it makes them feel better. Ryuki, I do somewhat understand what you're going through. You do? How did we lose so Inner much time? Fissures, right? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Ryuki. I scanned your butt. Where the hell are you going with this? Ganesha is the god that heals. So, Ryuki, those anal fissures that look like tribal tattoos inside your rectum will be healed with the power of prayer. Just stop already! Anal fissures have nothing to do with this! Well, hold on. Let her cook. Hold up. Memories of drinking together are still held fondly in his heart. Time's up, Mizuki. Wait! We need to keep searching! Negative. I'm terminating the connection. Ugh! I thought we had more time than that. Oh, you know what? I don't think I accounted for the throw. The throw was uh, was a lot of time, wasn't it? It was 45 seconds or something, and you didn't even have a... You couldn't use the timing for that. What do we want to do? Do we want to restart at Mental Lock 3? I can't remember. When did we get uh, Dark Souls ambushed? Let's go with with 3. You can do this. There's no bet this time, so you can trust us. No, that's not true at all. You guys feel like the fuck with me where there's a bet or there's not a bet. Okay. Shoot Ryuki. All right, do we want to use our 1-3 for this? I think we do. Or do we want to use our equals 20? Equals 20. You know what? I'm not making the same mistake twice. I'm not making the same mistake twice. Equals 20. Activate. Not doing the same I'm mistake twice. Like Forgot what happened. Oh, can't forget what happened. Okay. Do, 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 All right, how do we remember him drinking? Hurry! You have less than a minute left. It's got to be the drink, right? Brandy. Drink up, Ryuki. No reaction. Hey, don't drink without my permission. Yee! Alcohol is the best. You get drunk so fast. Aww, don't yell at me. It looked so good. <laughs> That's a creepy way to cry. Chat loved it. Pull yourself together, Aiba. Sorry, I couldn't stop myself. Alcohol has no effect. <sighs> Only 30 seconds left. That's it? What is it then? The glass? The soup? The soup was... I don't. I, maybe it's not soup, actually. Right, let's go with the glass. You need to chill for a second, okay? Ignored. Uh oh. I bet you can be really short-tempered sometimes. Uh, Coming from you. My gets shorter the more I'm ignored. But it doesn't look like Ryuki wants water right Glass now. Glass hooses, Mizuki. Mizuki, you're out of time. Well, I hope this is the last one. Eat this and cheer up. 
Ryuki, look. What's this? The special. Snake-inspired intestine soup, squeezed nuts, wide-legged old man's whisper sunfish, volcano-style, old spirit impact. Now eat. This is gonna improve your mood whether you like it or not. Uh, that sounded like an anime attack. What, what, what the hell is this? What? I don't think this is the last one, chat. I think we're out of time. Look, I get it. Higher-ups usually don't appreciate their subordinates' value. But I don't care about that. It's not that you're not skilled enough, or you don't have an eye for things. It's all about timing. There's a time for everything. Just continue what you're doing, until the time comes. Don't let it get to you, Ryuki. Stay strong and keep going. No, not here! Go to the restroom! How is it staying there? Suction! That's how he got the idea for uh, sticking uh, Chikara to the chalkboard. It's all coming together. Alright, so I think we have to restart earlier, because I don't think we have the time to get through this. Stay strong. Keep going. Ivo, watch out! Oh god. Again with them. The real Ryuki is right there. Let's get through them. Indeed. Time's up, Mizuki. Wait, we need to keep searching. Negative. I'm terminating the connection. Okay, there's no bet, so let's reset. Reset? You bet. Wait, is it gonna kick us back to the interrogation room? Because that would be really annoying. Well, we're below the time limit, so we're fine. Let's just restart here. Stay strong. Yeah, let's keep, keep going. going. I'm surprised it let me load it. Yeah, let's go! Aw, oh, god damn it. Alright. Alright, third time's the charm. Oh, we have to type in Dahlia Boat again. Why, why would they do this? Why would they do this? Talk to the mirror, important? Alright, we'll talk to the mirror. Let's do it. Huh? It went through. Oh no. My hand is gone. I but you okay? Just kidding. Ugh. Sorry, sorry. Anyway. Are you a dominant? It appears that the mirror will not break. Burning. Alright, so we call Tama. This is really annoying. Why did they do this? It's actually shit, isn't it? You chose this difficulty. Yeah, I should have known it was going to be shit ahead of time of playing the game. My bad. I think the devs didn't think somebody was messing up so bad. I didn't really mess up that bad, though. Like, I didn't even realize that, that the Ryuki game to me was sending me back into the other timeline. It took me, and then the second time I learned it, and by then the damage was done. Alright, so then we go get the, go Three get minutes the, left. the stew. You can do this. Yeah, like, th half the time's gone just from doing it perfectly. Like, holy shit. Alright, we have lots of time now. Let's keep, let's go. Oh, one second. Why are you not upside down? How do you want to meet somebody? Uh, sorry, someone. Run into the, into, on the corner. A mean transfer student. Transfer student sitting next to you. Teachers call, teachers calls for a battle royale. Uh, no, I'm not really into Fortnite. Um, mean transfer student. Expelled. Teacher, let me introduce a transfer student. Burdock. Hi, I'm Burdock. Alright, nice to meet you, Burdock. Alright, am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Oh, no! Ryuki, get a hold of yourself. Ryuki. Dahlia... Boat? Is that them? This is all your fault. No! Stop it! You have no future. Shut up! Dahlia Boat! You son of a bitch! 
You killed Mr. Dante! Dahlia Boat? Are, are you just don't care about Dante? Like, what, what's, what's going on here, man? What? Okay, the two of you are being suspiciously, like, like, quiet about reminiscing about Dante being dead. What's going on? Know the name. Jenkins, you son of a bitch. Alone. Mizuki Chapter Zero. This is a weird interrogation room, isn't it? Better. I only see two of you. I was seeing three of you earlier, so that's an improvement. We're still twins though, right? Reverse sync? You tried to get into my head in the sink earlier, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. Actually, Mizuki, it is possible that he does not remember. The recipient of a sink does not literally experience what happens in their somnium. So he would not remember that. Then who was trying to reverse sync? I mean, we know, right? Perhaps Ryuki's subconscious. Or, or Tama? No? Or the collective unconscious. Okay. Hey, Ryuki. Do you know the culprit? If I did, I would have caught them already. The man in the iron mask, Insomnium. I know that he is the culprit in the HB case, Terror. But Dahlia Boat? Is that another pseudonym? Yeah, it's I heard gotta the be. boat part six years ago at the cathedral. But. Dahlia, how did you know that part of the name? Well, that's because... I'm morbed. <laughs> wait, wait, when did we learn the Dahlia name? Was that on, was that on the other timeline? I can't remember when we learned that name. Oh, it was, because that's when uh, Shoma said I heard the name. Yeah, it was, okay. Hmm, that's interesting, all right. Where's that going? <laughs> Been hanging out with Tostito? Hey, Ryuki, what's wrong? <laughs> okay, is this what he is this what he looks like when he's doing his seeing the simulation and saying weird shit? Okay. Ryuki's brain. I am detecting anomalies in the firing of multiple neurons. It is not fatal, but he will be unable to speak for a while. What caused it? Unknown. However, it is advisable to not continue pressing Ryuki further. Then I guess I'll have to investigate the old-fashioned way. Somnium? <sighs> somnium! Somnium! Let's do another Somnium! Pass mildly away, Mizuki Chapter 1. 2.11. All right, so it is it is like six years since then to the day, I guess. All right, All right let's go talk to the boss. Mizuki, I heard you synced into Ryuki, but you didn't get anything out of it. Six years, huh? You didn't get more shit in six years? That reminds me of Iris for some reason. I hope that girl is doing okay. Iris's condition is cured. Don't jinx it. It looks like an old map, but I changed it recently. This one shows the Belt Transit System, the BTS. Isn't that copyrighted? Huh? What do you mean? Hey, Prez. You are looking so cute today. What the hell are you doing? Those guys belong to Lemniscate, right? I was hoping a certain someone might arrange a meeting. Oh, so that's. Know. Let's get out of here. That's why we We've have got to drop. A case to solve. All right. Hey, come on! Mizuki, could you find me one of those yellow bath buckets? Why? I would like to make a pool out of it. Hey, Mizuki. You ever get your boyfriend that hard? No. You don't even have a boyfriend. Ooh. Even if I did, I wouldn't. Whoa. I'll bully that balloon, is what I was going to say, but I decided against it. That's Ma's grave. Ma? From the host club? Yup. 
I dug him that grave after he canceled on me last minute. That doesn't sound like a joke. Renji would have loved this. Mizuki, you know about that mannequin, right? Yeah, we've talked a few times. Uh, shh. Uh, uh, why can't I eat just the toppings? Boss's friend, Mario. Why is there a big catch flag here? You don't get it? The criminals we arrest are our biggest catches. Did you know the fugitive can mean a person running from the law and also how color changes due to light in the atmosphere? I didn't know that. Thank you. Why do we call Pumpkins Jack? Yeah, he could be Bill. You two get along well. There was a murder at Spur a long time ago. The culprit's name was... No, Moment. don't say it! Spoilers! Uh, what? Mizuki, I've got it. When you square the hypotenuse of a triangle, you get the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That is the Pythagorean theorem. So... what? Okay. Body? The rubbery part of you. That's not the eyeball. Oh, this? I believe it is made from seaweed extract of some kind. In a predicament, you can eat it. Why do you ask? Isn't it obvious what I'm looking at? Isn't it obvious? I'm Mizuki Date, formerly Okiura. I'm a senior at Sekiba High. I'm 18. I run a company and I'm a singer at Abyss. Recently, I've been worried that my lifestyle is making my skin break out and I'm putting on weight. And since I run into so many low-life criminals, it's really been affecting me. You seem tired. Don't push yourself too hard. Who is this cutie? Her cuteness is gonna make my eyes pop out of their sockets. Your eye is already popped out. No one ever compliments me, so I had to do it myself. But in all seriousness, I might just be the prettiest girl on the planet. <sighs> Why is it I can't seem to find any decent men? What? Because you've rejected every man that's come close to you? Because they're all pushy basic bros. Nice bro. That's enough, Iba. You can close it. It gets really tight in your eye socket, you know. I wanted to stretch out a bit so I don't get too used to that economy class. Oh man, Tama would have loved that line. Excuse me, my left eye is first class, unlike Date. Whoa, don't speak ill of the dead. What are you doing? All right, he's not dead at all. You heard about the DNA results, right? Yeah, Peter told me last night. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. Okay. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. Okay. But how is that possible? Masked woman? A shady chick who tried to shoot me with a gun. Oh, her. We're looking into her based on what Iba recorded. Oh, yeah, all right. On this, on this continuation, uh, can I see the... Um... In this one, she met the masked woman. But this one, for whatever reason, is a continuation of this one. So she hasn't met the masked woman, I don't think. Okay, and, until uh, the stadium scene. All right. This is really weird how they chose to show this six years later, but it's fucking still the same day. Unless it's not, and it's just, just fucking with us. But we haven't found anything yet. No witness statements either. Maybe she's with terror. Why would you think that? Well, she looked like a bad guy. As a police officer, you should refrain from judging by appearances. Whoa, what's that supposed to mean? He was carried to the medical office last night. After a day's rest, he gathered himself and headed home. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I had to cough. I'm guessing he's drinking again. Should we use GPS? No, it's fine. I won't get anything useful from him right now. Ryuki is currently on leave. After the explosion six years ago, he just needs more time. I'd like to have him help with the investigation, but I don't want to put that pressure on him right now. So if you get your eye removed to join Abyss and you get like demoted or whatever, you get to keep the eye? That's a pretty sweet deal. Wait, how did you know? Peter told me. <sighs> Running his mouth. I'm gonna cut his pay. You're getting old. 
You should stop cruising bars. Ugh, could you not sound like my daughter? Daughter? Ah. Uh. Okay, so... Not us. What? Well, yeah. I had no idea you had an illegitimate daughter. She's not illegitimate. It's not like a secret or anything. It's just... No one ever asked. Okay, that's enough digging into my private life for the day. Is there anything worse in, in all of writing hey, Mizuki, than the aren't you, forgetting something? you never asked justification? It was all a dream, maybe? Yes, we will get there. Oh boy! Oh boy! Huh? Was it? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm your superior. You should be more respectful when talking to me. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I'll be careful, boss lady. <sighs> Teenagers. So, what are you going to do now, Mizuki? I think I'm gonna head to the stadium. There might be some leads that only I can find. Sounds good. But, as I said before, don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, yeah. Respectful. Roger that, sergeant. Sheesh. Oh, so you do understand that you did it without my permission. You said you'd let me handle it. And I also said not to do anything dangerous. Sinking's not uh, dangerous. But I did find a lead. Dolly a boat, huh? But what does that get us exactly? I searched every database I have access to. All one of them. I did not them. find anything that connects that name with terror. There's gotta be some kind of hidden meaning. Ryuki would know. You can't assume that, Mizuki. I checked the sync log this morning and something is definitely off. We know Ryuki isn't mentally stable right now. A person's memory can be wrong at times, especially after trauma or mental disturbance. So we can't assume anything we got from Ryuki is the truth? Boss is correct. There is no guarantee that what is experienced in Somnium is exactly what that person saw. Yeah, it's almost yeah, like they're a waste of time. Yeah, it completely random either. Eh. The person being synced had to have experienced something that made their Somnium that way. Eh. True, but... True. Listen, it's just best that you don't put too much stock into what Ryuki says right now. Let's go to the stadium. We don't even get a car? Isn't Mizuki like a, like a multi-millionaire? What the hell? The body's been taken away. Of course. The winter cold may help, but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. I just wish I could have examined it a well, little more. A half-topsy. Why not use my function? What function? VR. This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times before. Oh, that! Indeed. Iba, please do your thing. At once. Man, a watermelon! Here we go! I am replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. I really can't get used to this. It's like going back in time. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be our first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. What? Got it. How do you do- what? Oh. How do you- Let us begin. The point I am most curious about is... How the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. Footprints for who? Oh, you mean there were other people around here and that's a clue? Seems like their presence is pretty fucking relevant if we- I'm angry. I'm angry. The bleaches are empty. Hey, Iba. How far is it from the corner of the seats to the middle of the center circle? Approximately 190 to 220 feet. Could the body have been thrown from the bleachers? Yes. Pardon? Yes. That would explain how the body got there with no footprints. Yep. Hold on. There is so much wrong with that. What do you mean? The record for the hammer throw is 284 feet. The hammer is 16 pounds. The body in question is indeed cut in half, but it still must weigh more than that. No, it's hollow. No, it's hollowed out. We haven't checked that yet. 
It's it's hollowed out. It's really light. Maybe they used a catapult. So that is completely impossible. The state of the body excludes that possibility. Nope. Nanotube, son. Dangled down from a helicopter. That was in stealth mode, incognito mode, so no one could hear it. Lap time display. It's a display board showing lap times. Oh, put the body in there. Wheeled it out. Hit a button. It opened up. Oh, one second. What chocolate do you like? Uh, chocolate bar. It's a chocolate with a cute drawing or naughty. Are there wheel marks? Rode, rode the thing out. Or rode it instead of rode it. They rode it like with a, with an oar. They, they, they pushed it along in the ground. So no footprints on the wheels. And then like hit it with a stick. Opened the compartment. The body fell out. And then they rode it out again. There you go. That would work. And the reason why we're not talking about the track marks is because we never asked. Halfway line for soccer. Who cares about soccer? The melted snow has wet the grass, but there are no footprints. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Furue. Yeah. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. The culprit is most likely terror. And no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. I mean, define great height. Like, it, it fell from the from the ceiling of a room before, and we didn't talk about that. Maybe Thomas just shit at her jaw. Maybe I was just better. The only wounds in the body are the cut itself. Alright? I got an idea. Somnium the half? Could someone else have gotten plastic surgery to look like him? I suggest using the x-ray mode to find out. If there was any surgery, you would see chiseled bone or silicone. There would be internal evidence left behind. Alright, x-ray mode here. What's this? Hey, look at the halfway line. It's hard to tell because of the white chalk, but... I see slight grooves in the ground with the x-ray mode. Is this... A tire tread. Oh, a bike maybe. Here we go. If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads, but there is only the one. Unicycle so killer. Something with one wheel. This tire track. It looks familiar. Oh, the tire track followed the line. Ah, oh, what if the footprints follow the line? There's something in the grass. It appears to be a screw. The grass was so long, you couldn't see it with the naked eye. So, Shoma's robot. Alright. Did Shoma report his robot going, uh, being stolen? Or what? Hmm. Okay. That's it? That's the big mystery? Alright. His bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face. Uh oh Nor his body. So you're saying... There is no evidence of plastic surgery. It's Jin for sure. I think I think rowing uh rowing the display would have been better. All right, now what? Oh, we have uh we have heat mode, humid area. The temperature is a little lower here. It's like something spilled. This is related to specific heat capacity. Oil. What's that? Basically, it is how easily something heats up or cools down. Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. You have the opposite. Anyway, as you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. However, whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water, so you perceive it as being colder. Okay, what is it? Any idea on what it could be? It's coolant. Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. Machine oil, huh? That should complete the investigation. Using the evidence we found, we can replay Terror's actions. How did Terror move the body to where it was found? No, she has That's to be a director, we and we have to out. act it out. Let us begin. Half might. Here we go. How is do, the body do. carried without leaving footprints? We should consider how exactly it was carried. How the corpse ended up where it did. Yes. Over soccer field. The only wounds There's on the no body. There's no additional damage to the body. If it was dropped from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. 
But we did find other prints, right? What specifically? Right here, on the halfway line. You see the tire track? Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? Robot. I think it was a robot. The screw we found in the grass. That screw! And the machine oil? You have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one-wheeled robot. But we cannot conclude that it was a robot based on this evidence alone. I guess not. But those tire marks looked familiar. I'd recognize them anywhere. Let us imagine it was a mono-wheel robot, and it carried the body along the halfway line. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Recording? Okay, Miss Star in the Making. I am the director slash cameraman, Aiba Kurosawa. Kurosawa? You don't know Kurosawa? Oh, right! That guy. Yeah, that guy. I know that guy, yeah. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Uh, hold on. I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. I'm a police officer. That is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. Neither job requires showing skin. Mm. Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. No. Ready? Oh. Here we go. Action! My name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. So? How are you going to accomplish that? Using this! I'll use this robot remotely and... Uh... This is hard. Okay, but why? Okay, whatever. Oh no! Look dicey there, but I got it back. Now in reverse. Whew. It did it. Cut. Wonderful. Great acting. Was it? Great acting. I need to pee chat. I especially liked the performance of your eyes. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man before. Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot. Bullseye. Aiba, you were thinking the same thing, huh? Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one-wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. <laughs> of Shoma course. Shoma can't be terror. Who doesn't remember the grooves Despite on a tire? the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. No way. The best thing to do is confirm with him directly. Where is Shoma? Unknown. Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. He does that a lot. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. I mean, not Where pointless. Could Shoma be? He could turn his Naturally, phone on in any second. We should head to the Enda residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furoe being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin, too. We should also head to Sekibahai. Oh, great. That's where the second body in the HB case was found. Where should we go first? <sighs> Shoma is the only person in the world that can make a one-wheeled robot, can also carry a person that has to be him. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, isn't it? It's... You know what? You know what? I take it back. It's very stupid. Why would we go to Sekibahai? There's there's no one we know that would still go there, right? Happy, happy Chikara. Time to do class. Hey, Ryuki. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki. Isn't it obvious? I'm here for the reinvestigation. Isn't that obvious? Reinvestigation? It's a student's chair. Sometimes you get a bad one that wobbles. That's true. Uh... Uh, 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 oh man, I hope he's
seems okay. Ryuki. I cannot determine anything from him when he is in this state. Six years ago. Yeah, you were drunk last night and wouldn't tell me anything. No. I don't want to talk about it. But it might help with the investigation. Stop trying to make me remember! It was a terrible, terrible thing! You want me to talk to you about it?! That is enough. There is no use trying to get him to talk. Yeah. The investigation has only just begun. I need to keep my eyes wide open. I need to see the pieces. Lost beyond time. This is my case. But, Ryuki, you're... Insane. Hold on, Mizuki. Ryuki is not well. He is traumatized. But in these circumstances, it is better to not push back against things he says. You may inadvertently make his condition worse by denying his delusions. Really? Yes. It is common practice for patients in Ryuki's condition. Okay, Ryuki. Just don't do too much, okay? Okay? Yeah, you look tired. You should go home and rest. I don't have time to rest. I need to find the culprit. Besides, I had Tama tie me up tortoise shell bondage style earlier, so I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, you should definitely just head home. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! <laughs> Half for all! We are full-time heroes! I can do anything. I'm like a superhero. I won't lose to the bad guys. And if anyone gets in my way... Let it be. He is not capable of participating in normal conversation. He's especially bad today. It's almost like he got somnium or something. Huh. Ikume Shrine. I'll go there. It'll help me calm down. We're gonna go there at the end there of this. There he goes. There is nothing we can do for him. It is best to let him be. Ryuki was traumatized by the events six years ago, and has been hurting ever since. He tried to return to work, but his symptoms worsened. Yeah, he's supposed to be on leave of absence to get better, but... His symptoms have not improved. Anyway, there are no leads here. Where is the Mecca of Otakus? Ikib... Bakuro, Ariaki, Akihabara, Nakano, uh, the first one, Maiden Rodi. All right, cool. Joe's chat. Oh, damn, the burn. Okay, um, I'm starting to get a really bad feeling. Sorry to bother you at work. You're Jin Furoe's. Yes, I was his nurse when Jinny was here. Jenny. I call him Jenny because he was still in his late teens when he was here. Of course, he grew up. He was a very important man, but to me, he's still that little kid. Okay, so, like, like everything in my brain is telling me that something is is wrong here. But every single time I try to think of it, like, like Ryuki's obviously, like, he's not mentally well. So every single time my brain goes, oh, so his version of events is probably not actually what happened. And that's, and that's the reason. And, and so there's some sort of lie you have to cut through there. But then it immediately hits an error with, yeah, but then, but Miz Mizuki really is six years older. So, <sighs> what? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've had enough with marriages. It's really a hassle to build up a relationship. I'm too busy, and I'm almost 40. Wow, she looks nothing close to 40. She does look young for her age. Maybe she's lying. Six years ago. All right, is the nurse here? No. Oh, terror! Thirty-six. Oh ho! Oh ho! It may have said, it may have said her age is twenty-four somewhere before, but that was in base sixteen. In base ten, her age is actually thirty-six. That's her actual age. She's in a theater group. Forty-two means almost forty, right? Oh, and the nurse doesn't get one in this timeline. Hmm. How convenient! How convenient! I remember Jenny well. 
I heard he was born kind of. Well, yeah, I might not be there yet. That's right. He's been in and out of the hospital since he was young. You heard? Yes. As I said earlier, I was only his nurse when he was in his late teens. Okay, I'm playing my anime, okay? You can't stand at the door making noises. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Back to business. What kind of illness did he have? It was a visceral disease. Though by the time he passed, he was completely cured. I cannot search anything on Jin's illness. Oh yeah, Jin, Jin is... Oh, oh, okay, I'm, I'm like... For some reason, like, my mind thought... Ginny was her nickname for Ryuki. <laughs> oh man, all right, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> God damn, all right, all right, yeah, that, that makes more sense, okay. Me too. I wasn't the only one. I heard some people in chat thought the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Those records have been completely wiped. Ryuji, Ryuki. I mean, it was, it was Ryuji into into uh, into uh, Ginny. I don't know. Like, yeah. All right, that makes sense. I never thought he'd get so big. When I first saw him in the magazines, me and some older nurses that knew him were really surprised. When he was a kid, he was shy and really timid. Hmm. Do I need to build the Dyson net on a black hole run? No, you don't. I never thought he'd become so successful and become the president at a big company. But he was killed. That's about it, though. I haven't seen him since he left the hospital. Anything you noticed about him seeing him from afar? Well, let's see. He'd really changed. Did he almost look like a different person? Are you suspecting a change in identity? Yeah, we can cross off twin or clone, but maybe he was replaced by someone else. No, I'm sure it was him. I only saw him in pictures and read about him, but he was a neat freak. Very meticulous. Oh, great. Evolve idle tech support. Should I do the bioseed thing or build the world collider before that? Uh, world collider is is how you access the, the content after the bioseed thing. So if you want to see what that's like, you can do that. But if it's your first time being able to do the bioseed thing, you should bioseed. I could sense it in his words. I'm positive it was him. I can get them in in the tightest spots. The needle? Go on. No, I'm talking about cars. You're talking about parking? Mizuki, don't push her onto that. What? Oh, sorry. Old habits. My name is Hana Yonasu. Hmm, I don't know. I'm bad at remembering things. They call me an airhead, even though I'm a lifesaver. Maybe it's been six years in like, in like, base 100. Like, who knows? Look, a UFO! Right, You just sure. never asked. Two toilets? Wow, alright. Six years in base 100 is still six years. No, it's not. You don't understand base 100. Whoa! I haven't seen him. They look different. What about you, Ota? No, I haven't seen him either. Shoma always comes in alone. And he usually leaves without saying anything. I see. A set? How are you even a bigger Shoma simp now? Too? If he did, it wouldn't be good. Video? Oda knows Shoma too. Iris introduced them to each other. Okay. Hold on. I want to see. Do we have a uh, updated nurse report? <gasps> Chat was right. 42. You can't say you're almost 40 when you're above 40. No. That's not how it works. It's always, It always goes up from what you are. No. 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 You can't say on a Wednesday, oh, it's almost Tuesday. Like, no, Tuesday is gone. It's almost Thursday. That's not how it works. You can't say almost for going backwards. Her actual age is 42. She took care of Jin Furoe when he was in his late teens. Recently, she got into cars and goes to, the ex to expressway races when she's off the clock. She's still in, in, in the theater group. There's been a lot of street racing in, uh, in Moncton recently. Um, really, really loud, noisy ass, like fast cars, just like zipping up and down all around us in the streets and everything. Lily was was <laughs> Lily was outside. 
<laughs> listening to them, and she got all wistful and was like, it's just like being back in Toronto. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why there's so many, uh, like, people driving around like maniacs at night. There's a lot more people here currently, so I wonder if there's, like, some event going on or something. I don't know, but, like, yeah, there was, uh... It was, like, all throughout the night, and then, like, weirdly early in the morning, too. Like, who's who's getting up at, like, 6 a.m. to street race? Why would you do that? Hmm, I am much bigger. You mean your attitude? No. Hey, Ota, what's Ota's black sauce? It's our house special soy sauce. Meow. Oh, I get it. If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. It sure helped me be happy. Did Odo lose weight, or was it just his clothes? Ours looks better, I think. A calendar, and me, and Tessa. What do they have in common? They both have dates. <laughs> oh no! You hitting that? Iris? Really? Alright, who do you want to wing sync? Definitely not Oda. Eggplant, eggplant, I love eggplant. What the fuck I love is going on eggplant. here? Mapo, Mapo, I love Mapo Tofu. <sighs> Tumor's back, huh? It's Iris, she's matured a lot. She's 24 now. Six years ago, from Divida? Yeah, do you remember? That's not something I can just forget. I saw half a body appear out of nowhere. I saw it explode, and why are you asking me about it now? Well, here's the thing. Okay, I was wrong then. Hmm, alright. Something still feels wrong about this, though. Why aren't you in the kid's seat, Oda? Hey, Mizuki, isn't that your chair? Whoa! 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 Fucking snail! Snail! What? Oh, hey, Ota, do you have life insurance? Fucking mouse bug. It must have teleported. It got stuck in another dimension, and half the body got sucked in. That's probably it, the body actually. Got sliced in half, then time traveled six years to now. Jeez, bodies cut in half, blowing up, showing up out of nowhere. How do you explain it if it's not paranormal? If I may, the questions of how the body appeared and how it detonated were answered by subsequent investigation. The carbon nanotubes and a thermite reaction. Mm -hmm. Right, but that doesn't explain how the other half of the body showed up. That strange occurrence can't be explained by science alone. What I think happened is something like the Bermuda Triangle manifested here. On the east coast of North America, in the Atlantic Ocean, there's a spot called the Bermuda Triangle. Anyone else, like, like, hear about the Bermuda Triangle a lot when they were a kid for some reason? I remember it being, like, I remember growing up thinking, damn, that's going to be a part of my life forever, and I can't wait to hear about all the mysteries that are going to be uncovered by the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> and then it just kind of went nowhere, and you just didn't hear about it for, like, over 10 years, and it's like, oh yeah, the Bermuda Triangle, it's like, okay. Tons of ships and planes and stuff have vanished without a trace there. Uh -huh. There's a bunch of theories, but no one can really explain the how and why. Some people think it's a miniature black hole. Others think aliens abducted them. There's even one story about like a corpse 20 megawatts from it? Yeah. area. Not very good. He died 64 years ago, but the body didn't age a day. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, given Iris's enthusiasm for the topic, but the Bermuda Triangle is an urban legend. The kind of examples she mentioned are usually misunderstandings, exaggerations, or completely fabricated. In other words, the mysterious aspects of the Bermuda Triangle are entirely man-made. According to calculations, the probability of a vessel going missing in that area is no different than any other place. I don't want to spoil her fun. I'm not going to tell her. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Hold on, hold on. Mizuki, do you know about the video uploaded to ViewCube? I haven't heard about it before. People who watch a video turn up missing. Do you think it's like that urban legend from six years ago? Yeah, except this time, it's really happening. This time for do sure. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? Hold on, someone's knocking. 
Do you think Shoma saw that video too? He could have. Shoma solved the Bats 490 code, right? Is there a code hidden in the new video too? Yeah, I think so. But I didn't understand it. I think Ota knows more about it. He's been trying to solve it. I guess he's not afraid of what might happen. Anyway, don't watch that video again. Consider it an order from the president of Lemnisgate. If those rumors are true, it could be dangerous. Understand? Yes, ma'am. You think she really understands? I do not believe there is any point in asking. So are we her boss? <laughs> Thank you. You're a super popular internet idol at Lemnisgate. Why would we say you've matured? We've been with her the whole time. Okay, whatever. Oh, no. I'm not really that big a deal. It's true. Not yeah. to mention there's a ton of new talent. If I take my eyes off my dream for even one second, they'll pass me by. It's pretty cool that you haven't let fame get to you. And you're still serious about chasing your dream, Iris. Well, things are different now. I'm not a teenager. I can't rely on my youth or make cringy comments anymore. <laughs> I need to work hard and prepare for the winter. Like the ant and the grasshopper. I've got to leave my mark on the net world. I really want to chug jug with you. I would classify that as cringe. <laughs> Don't worry, Iris. It's part of your charm. The ant and the grasshopper. Is that like the new Marvel movie or something? Loving this chinny by boy. The new video uploaded to ViewCube. Yeah, and the rumor that people who can decode it go missing. So, Ota, were you able to decode it? Nope. And I've tried, believe me. This one's harder than Bats 490 from six years ago. I've been thinking about how and why exactly the people who watch the video end up missing. My guess is the people who solve it end up mind controlled. Like Project Bluebeam or MK Ultra. Oh my god, these are gonna be dialogue options now, aren't they? <sighs> For fucks. It's a project by NASA that projects lasers and holograms into the atmosphere. Okay. They say it's for investigating the atmosphere and ionosphere. Yeah. But in reality, it's a scheme to take over the world. Mm -hmm. The idea is they can project images of aliens, UFOs, God, anything they want. It tricks the people of Earth into thinking the planet is being invaded or something. That way, they can unite the world under the false pretense of fighting back against a foreign threat. It gets the people of the world to abandon their allegiances to religion or any one nation, and instead unify under a new world order. So this video is kind of the same idea. Project an image into your mind that makes you think a certain way. What about NKUltra? MK Ultra is the code name for a top secret project that the CIA was running. It tested different I've heard of MK of Ultra. Control. Their so called experiments were inhumane, even torturous, all to try to prove mind control exists. They forced unsuspecting patients to take LSD, and did electroshock therapy, hypnosis, and the results of their experiments was were all destroyed. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're so sure, yeah. no one knows anything for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, one second. What cliche line do you want to say? I've got good news and bad news. I'm getting married after the war. See you in hell. Only a shadow of myself see you in hell. You can talk to Maid Sideburns. Amazing. I don't know what the Tamagotchi's saying lately. I'm a witcher. Of course. I'm still Tessa's number one fan, after all. It's my duty to support her. I name search her on Twitter and defend her to anyone talking trash. I even use multiple accounts so she can rise to the top of trending. I am devoted, day and night. Thank you for everything you do, Ota. Iris, you really shouldn't be adding more fuel to the fire here. Yeah, you're kind of fucked up for leading him on like that. Like, what the hell? Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Freight, freight, Tessa! Airplanes! High, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa, also known as ASAT. You bet. <laughs> You're fired. You're fired. I've been busy. I haven't had a chance to cut it. You're really busy, huh? Want me to cut it? Snip, 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 snip. How long is this gonna take? Really? You'll cut my hair? Hmm. Well, I think I'll save that experience for later. I want to grow it out longer, so I have as much haircut time with Tessa as humanly possible. 
Longer hair does not take longer to cut. Ota, I mean, if you're gonna head this restaurant, you should care more about how you look. Hey, that's actually what Gen from Brahmin said too. But it's not like spending more time on my appearance is gonna make my food taste better. Besides, I get plenty of customers. Well, yeah, with my cooking skills, that's to be expected. I think history will call me the chef blessed by the culinary gods. Okay, but the only customer here is Iris, though. Because I'm on break. Didn't you see the sign? During regular business hours, I don't have time for breaks. Ota is not exactly exaggerating. Matsushita Diner offers affordable, tasty food. Queues often form out the door. So it actually gets pretty crowded, huh? Yeah, and I welcome the challenge. I don't want to lose to Gen. Why are you two competing anyway? Devastating plotline. He talks about me like Oda's some successful. kind of moral enemy or something. I hear him talking trash about me. He says I'm not dedicated to my cooking. Not determined to be the best. I miss Tama. But I want to prove to him that I'm better. And I do it my way. Just you watch. I'm gonna make Matsushita Diner super popular. I'll have three Michelin stars one day. Oh, that's two more than McDonald's should have if it was a, a single location in France. That's pretty good. Um, is it already super popular? Like, I think you've already succeeded. Okay. You think so? I have been making some progress lately. I've gained a lot of life experience. I'm a refined adult now. I don't know about experience, but you did change up your look. If there was a contest for adults who don't look or act their age, you'd do well. So you're saying I look really young. That's a compliment. Young? Don't you mean more like childish? Oh, stop, Tessa. You're embarrassing me. She means that I'm as cute and pure as a child in the prime of their youth. Sure. I don't think that's what she meant. I suppose his positive thinking is what allows him to retain his youth. Having so much fun, chat. Having so much fun. Iva, can you show me the video? Man, Armored Core better be like a really fun gameplay game. I want to like, I want to play a fucking game. Like I want to like, I want to have a controller and I want to, I want to do shit. Like I want to play a game. This is the like, god fucking damn it. I have like, already found it. <sighs> it is posted to ViewCube under the name Nirvana Trial. Nirvana? Can you play it? At once. Like Rabby Ribby? Rabby Ribby was pretty fun. We saw this already. This is a repeat. Man robs ghost. What a chad. I didn't get anything from that. But there is a high likelihood that this is related to the HB case. Did you notice the similarities? The code that Shoma decoded, that's 490. And the QR video. Yes, the video from six years ago linked to Jin Furaway from our investigation. It can't just be a coincidence. The rumors about the missing people must have something to do with the HB case for sure. Yes. We do not know for certain if Shoma saw the Nirvana trial video, but it is all the more reason to find him as soon as possible. I'm so bored, hey, chat. Hey, Suki, are you okay? <laughs> I'm so bored. Yeah, I'm fine. You were pretty spaced out there for a while. Oh, is it paced so shittily? I'm gonna head out and look for Shoma. Fucking hell! Yeah. Got it. Is it worse than Life is Strange 2? Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's not go resetting the DKP, okay? Like, no way, no way, no way. Oh, Mame? She looks exactly the same. Mizuki, what are you doing here? Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. What about you, Guinea? I haven't seen him recently. Did you get your freezer I fixed see. in six years? What's inside the freezer box? Jen knows about Shoma. Before the incident six years ago, Shoma frequented his place. This place. His father must have brought him here. Okay, thank you. I'm not feeling well. Still? But I'm just tired. Don't worry. You should go home and rest. That's what I said. Thank you for your concern. But I'd rather rest here. I don't want to be alone. Yeah, a little bit. Have you heard about the disappearances that have been happening lately? Ota told me about it. All the people who went missing saw some new video that was uploaded to ViewCube. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Nah. Something bigger? Like what? 
Nirvana Initiative. What? It's just something I saw online. Some kind of terrorist attack or something being planned. What do you think, Aiba? There are rumors to that effect, but nothing concrete. I do not have enough data to make a determination yet. Anyway, that's what's got me scared. It's kind of creepy. Well, because... I guess I didn't need to ask. You come here a lot, Mame. Yeah, it's calming being here. I would have preferred you said you liked the food. Of course I like the food, too. But I like the atmosphere. And how you fit right in, Genny. What's this relationship? Like, does, does he, like, is this unrequited love? Or is he just, like, really protective of his customers? Because he was pretty protective of Mizuki, too, in, in the previous scene. Maybe it's a, a, a protection thing. I'm not sure. It's really calm. It's my favorite place. Come to think of it, you come here to quiz me an awful lot. And sometimes you leave without even eating anything. Well, you're the only one that likes my quizzes, Genny. Freeloader. When I ask Mizuki, she gets this look on her face. Buy something. <laughs> Why do you not like quizzes? Mame's questions are really niche. Do they bother you, Genny? As long as it doesn't get in the way of work, I don't mind. It's nice seeing you two together. together. You're almost like father and daughter. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. I guess Amame is like my daughter. Oh. oh. Like literally though? I guess you might say there's an elephant in the room. Wow, that was remarkably unfunny. Date would have left. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, it just reminded me of my dad. Right, your parents. They divorced when I was little, so I've been separated from my dad. I really liked him, so I was really sad. You really like your dad, huh? Yeah, he's the best. How old is, is, is Gan? One second. I'm gonna find out. Unknown. Hmm. Suspicious. Hmm. No. Why do you ask? I wanted to ask him something. Did something happen? I saw on the news that a corpse was found at the stadium. Something related to that? Actually, yeah. Never takes the mask off. Apparently he has a grotesque face. And when we x-rayed him as, as Ryuki, his skull was fucked up. He kind of looked like the, like, uh, is it Ghostface Killer? Is that from, uh, from Scream? He kind of looked like that. Did you do it at the same time that you did stealing? You should have done that. Yeah, please do. You haven't been in a while. Sorry, I've been busy with work. Mame has been inviting me, but actually, you were the one who introduced me to this place, right, Mame? Yeah. Was it six years ago? I remember when I ate Genny's food for the first time, I was shocked by how good it was. Whoa. It was the first time I felt that way since eating Ota's food. Mizuki, don't talk about Ota here. Why not? He's a rival. That's giving Oda way too much credit, bro. Last night? I was here last night. The only person I saw was a drunk, passed out Ryuki. What were you doing leaving your place unattended? I think that was when I went to the convenience store to get some miso. I have tons of regulars. Sometimes I have them watch the place for me. I see. Tons. Ryuki was saying something about traveling to the mirror world, so I thought something happened. Sounds like something a drunkard would say to me. The customer next to Ryuki was saying some weird things, too. When that king over there awakens, I'm going to disappear like a candle. I'm not real, I'm just something that shows up in the king's dream. That sounds like a reference to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. The story deals with themes of not being able to tell reality from illusion, mirror worlds and the like. The customer ran off sp That sounds like a reference to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by what? Lewis Carroll. Okay. Putting that gibberish. I had to run after him to get him to pay for the food. I thought you said you trusted your customers. That guy wasn't a regular. When I grabbed him and got back, Yuki was gone. Gone. Huh. I thought you said you went to go buy miso. Oh, that's right. I guess I went to the convenience store before that. Oh. I guess yesterday was pretty hectic, huh? Yeah. 
That's a lie! Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. He hasn't been here, and I haven't talked to him at all. How is he related to the incident at the stadium? It's confidential, I can't tell you that. I'm heading home now. Mame, you really don't look too good. Want me to take you to the hospital? It's okay. I just need some rest. Amame, you can rest in the back if you want. Yeah. I might do just that. Mame, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Guess we'll take her word for it. Mizuki, we're in the middle of an investigation. We should leave this to Gen. Okay. Genny, please take care of Mame. Yeah, no problem. Hmm, end the residence. Alright, what's gonna happen here? Looks like Shoma isn't here. How is it not changed? Hey, Mizuki. We just what let ourselves are you doing in? in the Kotatsu. Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. You do realize this is breaking and entering. There we go. It's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. Anyway, let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. One-armed man. Hey, my name is Penny Ben. Nice to meet you. This thing talks? Strange name, too. I finally found it! That must be the one-wheeled robot we were looking for! It has two legs. Could it be hidden in here? It wouldn't fit. Speaking of what wouldn't fit, Ryuki... There's a picture of Ame no Uzume on display. It's said that she danced with her bare breasts swinging about to entrance Amaterasu. Aiba, you should try it. Why would I do that? Hmm. No. I guess you don't have a whole lot to swing. You don't either. Oh, it's a picture of Mizuki. <sighs> you? All right, question time. A lion is tied up on a 10-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. Nope, dumbass. Nope. The correct answer is zero square feet. Lions don't eat grass. But Leon eats grass sometimes. What kind of little kid logic is that? <clears throat> hey, Perv, don't look! Who are you talking to? You're the one who peeped. Looks really boneless. It's Adder Rooster! He's the manager at the fried chicken shop that Adder works at. That is a peculiar situation. No one wheeled robot in here. It was in here before. Hmm. Was it? What if we found the thing that, um, that we Shoma's dad the had on anywhere. the terror? And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Who cares about the oranges? Yeah, how do we still not know what that was? What, th what did the dad find? In How's that case, coming back? We have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. But it's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. <sighs> Let's get going. Any day now. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Right. Huh? Isn't that? Is Kizzy in a wheelchair? They might know where Shoma is. Let's go! Hi, you two. Big sis. Oh. Hey, Mizuki. Hey, Leon. That machine shed isn't used anymore. It used to regulate the fountain pump. About the wheelchair. Huh? What is it, Big sis? Well... Uh... Oh, the wheelchair? You do not have to worry. I am used to it by now. As you know, the injury I received to my spine six years ago caused my legs to stop working. I have been in a wheelchair ever since. Doesn't this, doesn't this universe have like crazy nanotechnology? It can remove brain tumors and stuff? 
I will not be able to dance anymore. Like I used to. Dancing was the one thing that freed my heart. No more. Aww. But it would be inappropriate of me to complain. I was caught in an explosion, and yet I survived. It is a miracle that I am still alive. To not appreciate that fact would be a sin. Kizzy. Shut up. Drink your orange juice. Oh, one second, my Tamagotchi. What is common about internet idols? I want to say it. I don't want to say it. I really want to say it. Not really. I want I want to say it. Tell me about it later, E. Okay. Six years ago. Big sis. Yep. I lost my left eye in the explosion. But I don't even worry about it anymore. I got a good partner. Indeed. Oh, is that a false eye? Yeah, something like that. If anything, things have been even more lively for me. You're damn right. Oh, quiet. Aww. Nice one, Mizuki. Lively, I see. Nice one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So much tax. All right. Oh, nothing in particular. If anything, I'm happy the explosion I'm happened. Just not feeling well today. And Leanne was nice enough to invite me outside to get some fresh air. I thought Kizzy was feeling a little down. So I called her, and sure enough, I told her, Let's go to your favorite place. Also, it's been five years, 363 days. Just want you to know. You really understand her well, don't you? Are you spying on her with a wiretap or something? No, don't be ridiculous. It's true that maybe I've stolen some things in the past, but I've never stolen someone's privacy. Hmm? Oh, I... I was just remembering about Big Sis. If this world has a technology to like make a connection to the brain for an for a new eye to work and it actually works, wouldn't they be able to reconnect the spinal cord to your legs too? Like I I'm only a little bit of a doctor, so like, you know, I would feel like that would be easier than how complicated hooking a fucking eye would be, you know? But eh. I should finish med school first. Not referring to you, of course, but... Oh, the one you lived with from 9 to 15, right? Yes. I used to come here with her often. I think it was summer. She's also super rich. Yeah, like, old, her dad's the richest person on the planet. I got my clothes dirty. It was my father's favorite imported outfit. I was scared that I was going to get scolded harshly by my father. I tried so hard to come up with a lie. Who could I blame? And as I was thinking, she pushed me into the fountain. She what? She what? Spinal cord is significantly more dangerous. That's true. It's closer to the leg. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, it's a story about when she used to live from nine to fifteen. Okay, the the other the other um, sister that she likes so much. I was shocked, but then she jumped in after me. Let's do some laundry, she said. Oh, like washing your clothes by playing in the water. Yes, but she had another reason. As we splashed water on each other. I remember her saying, when you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. It was not only my clothes that needed cleaning, <clears throat> but also my heart. I was trying to find an excuse or come up with a lie that would have been caught right away. But she, well, instead of coming up with a lie, she turned it into the truth. She even went beyond that and made it into something fun. It is not good to worry about things, to come up with lies. That was what she was trying to say, I am sure. We went home together, together. soaking wet and laughing. Father laughed with us. <laughs> I was just lost in that memory. All right. I'm sorry, I don't know. Damn. So is, uh, was your sister named Dal Dahlia? Big sister who was the, the, the daughter, who So's daughter who went to live with them? Who became terror? Because he's in, on an electric wheelchair. I get the feeling she's trying not to make eye contact. You can't tell. I'm asking because I can't tell. A young girl and a guy walking in a park together. Multi-level marketing scheme. Only one if he's walking. It's a date. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was a date. Again, uh, no, no one has any tact speaking to Kizuna. Like seriously. Uh, well. I guess it's not that formal. We just came here for a change of pace, for Kizzy. This is our favorite spot, you know? <laughs> We've been on a ton of dates here. It's practically our second home. 
Just a nice, relaxing spot for both of us. K yeah, sure. I feel really bad for Kizzy. Oh, man. Of course. My feelings haven't changed a bit. If anything, they've gotten stronger. When I'm with Kizzy, my heart soars. It soars so high, I feel like I can burst through the stratosphere and beyond the galaxy. It's my dream to fly. I remember telling you. So it's like my dream comes true whenever I see Kizzy. Wow. To be honest, you don't seem like the kind of guy who's into commitment. I am. And as more proof, I'm working as a locksmith. Kizzy said she doesn't like an unemployed man after all. I want to make enough money to be able to support her. What was that? Live Kizzy reaction? What, what, what was... Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. No. I haven't seen him. What happened? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. Lean and Shoma became friends I after the... I need to head home soon. The Institute six years ago. Mizuki was the one who put them together. Together. Shoma lost his father six years ago. Oh, you, okay. Mizuki thought it would be a good idea to introduce Lee into Shoma to cheer him up. Nowadays, they are almost like brothers, though it's hard to tell who who the older one and who the younger one is. Really? Okay. Huh? Already? We just got here. I remembered that I have to do something. Is it a murder? Kizzy, what's wrong? W why do you ask? It seems like you're worked up about something. Are we gonna find half a wheelchair later? I believe you are mistaken. Uh oh. oh. Wait. Is it my fault? Probably, yeah. What? Do you not like being with me? Do you not like being seen with me? Well, is that not how you feel about me? What? What do you mean? I am sure you know what I mean. No, I don't. What are you saying? I don't either. Mizuki, you were right. Kizuna is acting strange. Why not wink sync with her? How about we just do a full on Somnium? Somnium. Somnium. She feeling self conscious about the wheelchair, maybe? Oh, we have a different pose that we don't have to do. I know. Lian, you are only with me because you feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. In truth, you feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Liam. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. Man, this is a really well coherent you dream. On my side. I am just a burden. Aww. Please, just leave me. Okay. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Kizzy. She is assuming Leon's feelings come from a place of pity. What is it? Can I wink sink into Leon too? No. Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. Can you please? What? I want to know Leanne's true feelings. What do you mean allowance? Hmm. I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. What? What? I'm sorry. Kizzy. I couldn't save you. I just feel guilty. I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... But that doesn't change how I feel about you. <laughs> I love you from the bottom of my heart. This is fucking terrible. Holy shit. I don't care about appearances. <sighs> I don't care what happens. You and I forever. 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 Eternally. Step and go on my way we to the sta station. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. How? Hey, I just read both your minds, and guess what? Yep, do it. Is that what you want to say? Yep. Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. This needs to be solved between them. 
Iva, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human years. I'm not a dog. <laughs> anyway, I need to be going. Leon, thank you for today. But please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But... is he? There she goes. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. Oh. Well, we have another next job game, to maybe. do. Find Shoma. Time to go to the shrine. We continue to search for Shoma, but where could he be? Maybe the video really did make him go missing. Mizuki, you have a call. Adrian. I will connect you. Hey, Mizuki. I remembered something about Shoma. There's this place I hear he's been going to a lot. Horidori Institute of Genetics. Huh? What's he going there for? I haven't asked. Horidori Institute. I don't know why, but I guess he might be there. How do you how Thanks do you know again. he's going there if I'll you didn't ask? There. Be careful. We headed to Horidori Institute. I showed my police badge and showed his picture when asking around, but never seen that kid here. But I didn't miss it. For a split second, the security guard's expression changed when I showed the picture. Got to use the thermo just in case. There it is. His temperature is rising. The budget of the scene. He is lying. Wow. In that case, we'll have to somnium. Som Somnium, the, the faceless guard. Let's go. Well, we made it inside at least. But where's Shoma? Mizuki, I must protest against you doing anything rash. Boss will never let you hear the end of this. What are you talking about? You punched the security guard unconscious to get him out of the way. I didn't punch him. It was more of a kick. Same difference. Well, sorry, I'm not very good at covert ops, okay? Anyway, I got this weird feeling. My gut is telling me that Shoma is caught up in some bizarre science experiment. Your gut is not a reliable source of information. This facility goes deeper. Shall we go? Of course! I can't go back now! Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Crap! They saw me! You need to be more careful! Intruder! We're calling the police! I am the yeah, police! the police are right here! In your dreams, girl! Let's get her! Yeah! Yeah! Mizuki! Well, if I gotta do it, I gotta do it! Mizuki, do not use your full power! We are in the wrong here, you know! Yeah, yeah, got it! Am I gonna have to press keyboard buttons? Oh, tactical metal pipe. Ah, oh, god damn it. Phew. Settles that. Be on your guard. More are coming. There! There's the intruder! Damn! That was fast. But superior numbers aren't gonna do them any good. Uh, okay, maybe they will. The last of them. That was dangerous. Thank you. Wait, what are you doing here? And why did you help me? Should I not have? You know that's not what I mean. Why are you here? I don't follow. You shot at me yesterday. That was yesterday. Today is today. What? Anyway, do you hear that? That's true. Hear what? That's true. What? Um, Ooh. what is going on here? Why are we going back to the park? Ugh. We should be far enough away now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Indeed. I do not sense any pursuers nearby. 
Now, you two, let's talk. You must be really strong. You seem pretty handy with a gun. So who are you? Don't try to find out. How could I not? You're one of the most suspicious people I've ever seen. You're on the list of suspects. That's a mistake. I'm not a suspect. We'll see. That's for me to decide. And one more thing. I'm not strong. I don't have a strong body. Can you just say that? I'm not a suspect? I felt like it. Who just feels like shooting at a high school girl? It was for the plot. I don't think the high school part is relevant. I almost died. Plot motivated. No, that would be impossible. I shot you with rubber bullets. You didn't notice? You mean... I had no intention of killing you. It was a prank. Then why did you shoot me? Just trust me. I'm not your enemy. Okay. Why? I want to see your face. I refuse. You want me to trust you? Then show me your face. Sorry, I don't have my makeup on right now. Ugh. And I have a big pimple on my nose as well. It's embarrassing. Then I'll just force you to take it off. Don't bother trying. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. If you tried, it would rip my skin off. Or did you want to see my facial muscles? If that's the case, then I won't stop you. Okay, I lied. I would stop you. So does that mean you're gonna wear that mask forever? No. I'll take it off if I need to. The mask will come off if I apply the remover. There are certain kinds of glue that require a special chemical to remove. The bond may also deteriorate naturally over time. Do you just pour the remover in on, on the outside? Okay. Concerned about what happened at the Institute earlier? Don't worry about it. They won't report it. Why not? For two reasons. One. First, yep. The weapons they had are illegal. Oh, yeah, it's true. If firearms are discovered, that could cause the facilities to be closed. What's the other reason? They are doing some questionable research. They wouldn't want the police anywhere near. I see. Whew. I'm glad, though. It seems you are safe this time. If Boss found out, she may have cut you in half herself. I was investigating. Investigating? Are you some kind of detective or something? Yes. Something like that. You know about the gene therapy research they're doing there, don't you? Yeah. I don't totally understand it, but it's something about rewriting DNA, right? I heard that they're doing illegal things there. I wanted to know about the dark side of the research myself. So that is why I'm investigating them. I want to know who did this to me. Did what to you? Fine. If you don't want to give me the details, at least tell me this. They're doing shady things in there, and you want to find out what, right? That's right. Oh, that, that, that was it. I can't talk about it. Why not? It's top secret. Top secret? But it could have something to do with my investigation. I wouldn't know. Hey, Iva, can we sink into her? I wouldn't even try. There is no way you would get Boss's permission. What do you mean? <sighs> but I can tell you this. Uh, I'm sorry. B boss's permission is the reason why we can't? Not that she wouldn't go along with it? Boss is, boss is the reason. So instead of taking a break soon, we already took break. We took break a little early, but um, we could probably take another break somewhat soon. I, I, could, I could pee again. I could pee. It's about Tokiko Shigure. Who? Tokiko Shigure? The president of NICE? Who's that? That's right. The president of Horidori Institute. Chikara was a senior member of NICE. 37 years ago, when Tokiko was 23, they banged. she became pregnant with his child. What? Or she banged Chikara so, anything to do with it. got pregnant, and then banged Chikara to make it look like it was Chikara's kid instead. Yeah. Child. Okay. He demanded she get an abortion, but she refused. She gave birth to the child. At the time, she had no immediate family and no money. Chikara was terrified. He was worried that the child might grow up to resent him and threaten him with blackmail. So he came up with a plan to have them adopted to one of his friends. To persuade Tokiko, he promised her prestige and power at Nice, that she would one day be president. Through tears, Tokiko reluctantly accepted and let the child go. Tokiko lost her child, but she did become a powerful member of Nice. Dear God, what a shitty backstory. All right, fucking hell. 
No wonder she thinks we're in a simulation. Alright, um, did they say if the child was a boy or a girl? Always the child, the child, the child. No, okay. Ultimately, she became the president of the Japan branch. Her voice is annoying. Yeah, it's so you don't realize that Mizuki is talking to the same voice actor, I'm guessing. What's your favorite character in Wizard of Oz? Scarecrow, Lumberjack, Oz, Lion, Lion, Lumberjack, Lumberjack, yep. Yeah. I want a heart, but doesn't feel, but doesn't feeling like that mean you have a heart? Yeah. You're saying they could be terror? That's not possible. Why not? They've already passed. Really? Really? It is a certainty. What? Oh. Well, where's this going then? Isn't that mascot on upside down? That's what you're noticing? That's your question? What is Jad's? Really? What is it about the shed not being used anymore? I have? I'm the same as ever. No, something's been off about you since lunch today. Does it have anything to do with why you were at Horadori Institute? The fountain. The park is one of my favorite places. I am certain that is why Leon brought me here so many times. For the past six years, whenever he saw that I looked bored, he would bring me here and try to make me laugh. He would trip into the fountain on purpose, sometimes even pretending to drown. Honestly, none of it was funny. You pretended to drown in front of the girl who can't get up and save you if you were? But before I knew it, I fell in love with this park even more. Horadori Institute is funded by my father. You are aware of that fact, correct? Yeah. I came to confirm something. I thought I could use my name to give me some authority. What did you want to know? <sighs> Not gonna tell me, huh? Somnium! What Somnium! Are you doing there, I smell a Somnium! I'm for Shoma. I heard that he's been seen there a lot recently. Shoma? Well, he is definitely not there. Huh? How do you know? He contacted me on Nile on the way here. What do you mean? What is it? It's fucking Iba, you're not continually scanning to see if he turns his fucking phone on? Or does he have a second phone that he uses for porn and Nile messages? What the fuck? Shoma is in the mountains of Nagano. What? He's gone camping. Alone. That is what his Nile message said. Suspicious. He sent that message to myself, Mame, and you as well. Oh, what? What? <sighs> You're right. What? He's coming back on his motorbike today. What the fuck? What? Shoma is 18 now. Old enough to ride a motorcycle. You make it sound as though you're older, but you two are the same age. Iba, can you check if he's really camping? On it. How? How? Hmm. He's not lying. How? He has been at the campgrounds the last few days. How? He was spotted on surveillance cameras in various locations. All right. For the past few days, huh? At the very least. That does provide him an alibi in the Jin Furaway case. But even then, it is still the most likely possibility that his robot carried the body. No. Do you think someone used Shoma's robot without his permission? I think there's another robot. Anyone could do it. Anyone could build a robot. The Enda house has no security. Anyone could get in or out. Even the ghosts of Terror? I guess we don't need to look for Shoma anymore. What if Terror just never comes back? What if that was the end of t That's enough for now. I'm going to get going. Fine, but don't get in my way again. I won't get in your way. I'll <sighs> only do what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, and one more thing. Earlier when you... Thanks for saving me. Hmm. You don't need to thank me for that. And one more thing for me, too. If you plan on continuing your investigation, there are two important things to consider. One. First, yep. whatever happens... Don't lose sight of yourself, even if someone you trust betrays you. And the other thing, Ryuki. Be wary of him. What? See you around. Wait! What do you mean by that? Jeez. Taking off right after dropping that bombshell? She is right in that Ryuki isn't quite himself right now, but... Wait. How does she even know about Ryuki? Unknown. 
It's no good. She's not answering. Then we will have to ask her mind. Right. No, 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 no. You daughter of the richest person on the planet, just like fucking insomnia. Oh, wings. Okay. Never mind. Okay, good. <laughs> experiment was a success. Would you say you're happy? <laughs> what is this? It seems Kizuna knows something about the dark side of Horadori Institute. Mizuki, we have no, no. choice. We do, though. We Kizzy, have we have so many choices. I'm sorry, but will you let me into your dream? My dream? Somnium. 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 The Somniums feel really superfluous this game, don't they? In the first one, I feel like the Somniums made more sense while we were doing it. But in this game, it feels like almost every time okay. it's like, eh, it's been a while I since we I had a Somnium. Picture. Let's do one. I haven't told Boss about what happens. Nor have I told her about my kicking the security guard. But. Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. And I know something about the limits of Somnium. There's only six minutes in there, Mizuki, and that's how, and that's as much I as I told her. I think it's something to do with the HB case. So... Okay, then. Pewter? I'm ready to go. Say the line. Mizuki, I'm sure you already know, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Yep, I'll be back before then. Okay. Before then when? Let's get started. Uh, how, how long? Sucks, man. This sucks. Oh, we're betting for this one? God damn it. Diary. Sink Somnia Power. Hourly wage increase. I am the Eye Magician Girl, Iba. Feels like I'm watching anime. In the name of AI, I will punish you with flogging and flaying. Whoa, 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 that's way over the top. What is this eye magician girl's special move? I punch your abdomen repeatedly. That would work. That sounds more like a fighting anime than a magical girl thing. Iva, is that? It is similar to the Chikara we saw in the Wink Sink. The page turned. The girl was chasing that picture the my the wolf. info. Like, yes, we should inspect it. Shikara formulating the perfect game to piss me off in the lab. Here we go. And a dash of you never asked. Ho ho ho! Perfect. This will raise his blood pressure for sure. Happy, happy Shikara. Somnium scan activate. Burning. Let's put two characters just out of frame in every scene, one on each side of the camera. Oh, delightfully devilish. Happy, happy Chikara. You think these are the same characters from the first game? No, the, we, we Mandela affected the whole entire cast. This isn't even the same people. We just didn't tell you. Lol, said Chikara. La my fucking oh. Anyway, all right, let me be right back. All right, I'm back and I'm ready for the uh, for the best Somnium of my life. Vodboy reporting in. Thank you for streaming the sequel, Papa Joe. I'm I'm doing my best to make it entertaining, but like, it's pretty rough. It's had some good moments. It's not Life is Strange 2 tier, but but man, oh man, is it slow. Okay, so what are we doing here? We can go over to that bubble. We can go to the story. The girl was chased through the forest by the wolf, so we're gonna learn something about Kizzy in here. It's a large picture book. I heard that Kizzy likes picture books and fairy tales and all that. Does this represent her feelings? Nah. It is worth a look. Okay, turn the page adds a plus five. Re I've already read it. I don't need to read it. I'm going to turn the page. Blue Riding Hood story is interesting, but I think we should look at Chikara's page. Good point. It's no use. The page is solid and will not budge. All right, we'll try something else. Well, that sucks. What if I read it? If I read it, will the page turn automatically? It's a large picture book. There's writing. 
Little Blue Riding Hood. Is that the title? Not red? The text below reads, The girl was chased through the forest by the wolf. Huh? Another picture. This is Blue Riding Hood. Huh? What is that? Wow! What was that? Something fell. Is that Blue Riding Hood? Did she get the wolf? Something came out. Let's take a look. Oh, I forgot to tell you. After Finn, after Finn beat Quaylag, he said to me, <laughs> he's really upset by the messages that lie that he finds. He said to me, why did the message in front of the boss room lie? They, it said amazing chest ahead. There's no chest in here. He expected a treasure chest after he beat the boss. Actually angry. Oh man, the little girl liked something. She admired something and something. I I had to explain the joke uh, very carefully to Lily because she didn't understand why I lost my shit. Please, somebody said uh, you'll find out one day or something like that. Yeah, I, I said you'll understand when you're older. It's a joke. Where to go drink? Uh, first one. Diary. Does it say anything? It appears to be more of a continuation from the picture book than a diary. Let's read it. It was a little child wearing a blue hood. She rose her fist and bravely scared the wolf away. The girl thanked the blue hooded hero, but she scoffed in return. Can you not walk? Fool. Blue Riding Hood was a little rude, but the girl smiled. Blue Riding Hood carried the girl on her back and took her home. The two of them were surprised when they got there. From that day on, Blue Riding Hood was family. What a great introduction. Thank you, big sis. The girl took her hand, but she made a weird face. Maybe she was just being shy. Is it Blue Riding Hood because... Because of Mizuki's blue hair? Is this about Mizuki? But in any case, she said, Nice to meet you, with a nod. Is that one ours? <laughs> Big Sis always was the courageous one. Ah, the memories. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories. Mental lock. Okay. Big Sis must be that girl she's always talking about. Right. Perhaps she saved her from a dog or something when she was younger. That experience turned into the story of Little Blue Riding Hood. Okay, not Mizuki so then. So that picture right. book was a story of Kizuna's memories. The two of them were never... Something the, happened to the book. The two Check of them out. never left each other's side. They went to the forest together. They went to the forest together. together. More new pictures. The little girl liked fairy tales from a young age. She admired... Little Red Riding Hood and Hansel and Gretel. Because this is Hannah and Gretel. Hannah and Gretel found a house made out of candy in the forest. It's a large picture book. It would be it gross. Who would eat before. that? Or do you think do you think the witch's magic has some sort of like preservative power? Hmm. Okay, I think we read it. This time it's Hannah and Gretel. It's a little different from the story I know. Below it. Hannah and Gretel found a house made out of candy in the forest. Huh? That's not a house made of candy. That's a witch! Mizuki, there is more witchiness over there. This is the beach. This is a bathtub. Lots oh. of stuff this time. God damn it. Let's look. Seesaw trick, light the candle, go... Build a house? That was a sandbox, wasn't it? It's there. 
build a candy house. Good idea. Huh, something's there. A piece of paper? What does it say? Snack transformation spell. Forma Rams Knack Titans. That is what it says. A snack spell? Maybe you can turn something edible. Should I try it on something? The girl made up bullshit. She would cast them on herself to ward off even worse bullshit. Alright, so what should we what should we do? Okay, so we can make that edible, or we can maybe turn that into a candy house. I thought we were gonna build it in the sandcastle, but that's not where it went. So maybe my instincts were off and I just got lucky there. There's something here. Climb I, I didn't expect to climb, okay. A piece of paper. Does it say anything? Hot hot blaze spell. Zebla to toe. Hot hot blaze spell. Think we can use it oh, for something? Dude, blaze it. Huh? Alone? Seesaw trick? Yeah. How do you feel? Like a kid with no friends. There's something on the ground. Pick it up. Splash splash water spell. Turp paw slash slash. That's what is written. What could that be? Memorize it, Iba. Okay. Light the candle with the fire spell? Left. What's this over here? Large balloon. No, I don't think that's a part of this. A candle in the shape of a witch. Something is suspicious about it. Skewer that candle and cook it. This is not a barbecue. I will light the fire. Hot, hot blaze spell. A permanent fire. Toe. Oh, it lit up. The candle is gone. Iba, look! The witch in the picture book! So the witch candle must be tied to the picture. The witch is gone. Now we have these assorted snacks. Maybe you're not Date in this game because Date wouldn't go for this huh. bullshit. Something came out over there. Let's go. A large chocolate chip cookie. It must contain at least three days worth of calories. Oh, way more than that. Way more than that. Magic or eat? She's gonna say there's no way I can eat it all. Share? Let's use the magic. Chocolate chip cookies are good when you heat them up in the microwave. Ah, like the Country Mom brand. All right, let's try heating it up with the fire spell. Hot, hot, blaze spell. Zebla to to. Smells good. I'm getting hungry. Perfect. Looks good. You know what to do with this delicious cookie now, right? We eat it. It's a large cookie. We eat it. Let's eat it. That cookie in the picture book was partially eaten, right? Try to bite it the same way. I see. That may indeed trigger something. All right, here I go. Ah. Uh... How oh. That's a huge bite. Munching Iba. Another book. After many something, she something, to something, to something. I'll read it. Father, you liar. How many times have you lied to me? Gretel finally shed a tear. Ever since her mother died, her father has been working all the time. She barely got to spend any time with him. Her father gave her tons of snacks. But Gretel was not happy. Do not worry. I'll beat up any evil-doing witches around here. Her father would reassure Gretel after hearing tales of evil witches. But the evil witch was inside Gretel. Oh no! The witch filled her with sadness and turned her selfish. Her older sister Hannah tried hard to cheer Gretel up. But Gretel's tears didn't stop. Father. Oh. 
Well, that's not good. This must be her memories of her father, Richie Chieda. It seems that Kizuna was quite sad. I can kind of relate. Oh, the book changed again! We should take a look. Gretel continued to cry and cry for a long, long time. Hmm? Something happened to the slide. The little girl like, liked fairy tales from a young age. She admired fairy tales and saw herself in the main characters. Okay, so now it's Cinderella. Do we read this or do we go? We read it first, right? We always read it. It's a large picture book. This one appears to be Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella, read. The title is Cinderella. Cinderella. Below that, it says, Cinderella spent a dreamy night with the prince. A castle and a clock. One of the hands fell. It wasn't a regular picture, I guess. This shorthand. Can we use it for something? Let's hold on to it, just in case. We can use it. Anime a shorthand for shit story. Yep. The, the girl hid one glass slipper in a something. All right. So we put it here and rewind. The clock is part of the slide. On closer inspection, the hour hand is missing. You're right. Attach hour hand. Definitely minus 30. Or do we take this one off and put them both somewhere else? Nah, it's got to attach it here. Let's take the shorthand from earlier and... There. It fits perfectly. 12 minutes. What's going on? This is a crazy trick. Kizuna does appear timid, but I suppose she can be expressive at times. I never would have thought. I guess she hides it well. What? What are we talking about? Another change to the picture book. Didn't the clue say something about burying the slipper or something? After many sad events, she's something. Is Three it, minutes left. Is it under the tree? Yeah, it's in the same place as we buried that thing. Okay. Oh? A time capsule. That's right, it was buried here. A time capsule? Six years ago, Liam proposed to Kizzy. He gave her glass slippers instead of an engagement ring. They agreed that if they felt the same way after six years, yada yada yada. Anyway, they decided to bury the thing here till the time came. I completely forgot about it, but it looks like Kizzy remembered. So inside, there is an engagement... shoe? Just one, though. The other's missing. I wonder if it's around here somewhere. What? I don't want to close the box. I don't want to wear it either, do I? What? What's the magic spell gonna do? Fuck it, let's find out. Flush away the past. Use your water spell. That is quite a stretch of logic. But it just might work. Will it? Here I go. Splash, splash, water spell! Turp paw, splash, slash! Nothing is happening. Perhaps she doesn't want to. All right, chat. I'm sorry to be serious for a second, but you know, sometimes I have to intervene and 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 keep, you know, moderate chat. All right, mods. I'm a little annoyed that you didn't catch this, and I have to interfere. Okay, please, for the love of God, like we have to make sure we're not discussing topics like this in chat. All right, don't fucking talk about what you're pulling for Hong in Honkai Star Rail. Like, well, what do you think this is? No one, no one wants to hear about your fucking, like, Honkai Star Rail plans, okay? Like, absolutely not. No. <laughs> Alright, so that wasn't it. Do we wear it? Let's go to the other one first. I do Kafka. Is that oh, it's Kafka. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Continue on as normal. It's the entrance to Iowan. I can see a glass slipper inside. The door is closed. 
probably locked. Hmm. This... If we know the four-digit code, we can open this. Four digits long, huh? No time to brute force it, I guess. Oh, wait. It has a colon here. What's the time yeah? on it? Interesting. 1150? 1155? Type number. What four digits should I enter? 1155? 11... Is it 1150 or 1155? What was it? It was like five minutes or ten minutes to midnight, right? It had to have been ten. Damn. No good. Is there a hint somewhere? It has a colon in the middle, so I believe it must indicate a time. A time? Is it 55? Oh man, that might be 1159, actually. That's really close. Is that like one minute before midnight? Can the I inspect? Is part of the slide. Inspect. Alright. This clock was in sync with the movement of the ground, but it's not moving anymore. The hands have settled on a time. 11.59? Okay, it's it one, like one minute until midnight, okay. That's a minute before the spell cast on her wears off. It worked. I had a feeling the time on the clock was the key. <gasps> a glass slipper. The right one, to be exact. This has got to have some kind of significance. We should hold on to it for now. Why did you have to call it the mod so you're using your child's full name? <laughs> Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Huh? Please hurry. Bit. You should know I would never talk to the mods like that. A time capsule. It contains one If I had a problem with how the mods are doing things, it would be a lot more diplomatically brought up than that. Insert shoe. Got it. I was going ballistic. I was rising from my nap. My work here is done. Burn it. Turned into a picture book again. <sighs> Somehow how her heart separated from the prince. A uh, mods. So just okay. First of all, none of you have to be here. Exactly. Exactly. Big sis found out about Cinderella's dream and started panicking. Cinderella, even if someone proposes to you, you can't just accept it right away. Don't answer until you know who they really are. Wait five or six years. Can you do one of the old NL bits where he's a he's a German guy running a pizza place that has the best Wurst pizza? I, I don't know that NL bit. All right. Thank you, Boulder. Very cool. This was her advice to Cinderella. Big Sis was worried about her naive little sister. Cinderella thought it was a bit much, but she smiled. If I ever meet a person that important to me, I will introduce them to my big sister first. It would be so much fun to share a meal together. And so, Cinderella dreamed another dream. I received those wonderful slippers, but I cannot dance anymore. I am not worthy of him. I cannot be his princess. What should I do? Big sis. Kizzy. You're not worthy of Leon? You're not worthy of Leon. You're the... Really? Pop the balloon. Is that the bell? The clock moved. Midnight. It's true though, pretty rich girls always have uh, trouble finding boyfriends. It's so difficult. What's going on? No more. Show me no more. Let me hear no more. I don't want this anymore. Frog Prince? It stopped. The spell wore off. Kizuna must feel that she can no longer be a princess. Oh no. What should we do? Kizuna doesn't want to look anymore. I don't want her to suffer, but we have to keep going. As her main sad events, she something to not make things worse. To... Man, how, many, how long do these take? Where to go to... We did this one already. 
There's something new over there now. All right, what's this one first? The picture of the frog with the crown. Wasn't there a clock here earlier? Why did it change? I think it might be hidden. It's a dream. Okay, it can't be a spell. It has to be inspect. There was a clock here earlier. It seems to have turned into a picture of a frog. A frog with a crown. The frog prince, I'm guessing. What's that story about? Well, an evil witch turned a prince into a frog. That frog tried to make a move on the princess. The princess got really mad and slammed the frog into a wall. What? It was such a hard shock that the spell wore off. That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, the story has changed plenty through the ages. Now there's something about a kiss breaking the spell. Eh, I kind of like the original better. It's like a comedy manga. Oh, so if, if Kizzy threw Leon into a wall, he'd become a nice person. Oh, I, I see. Okay. All right, I don't know what to do. We pop the balloon. Does it say something? Yes, another spell. Or a counter spell, to be precise. Fun fact, Thomas' final design was decided when one of the localizers taught Uchi Koshi about the word thick. I'm not making this up. What did she look like before that, then? Because I really like Thomas' design, but I gotta say, my one criticism is that she's she's a little a little too thick. Just a little. Just dial it back a little bit on the thickness slider. That's that's what I think you should do. Transformation dispel. Former. Fuck you, you all sin. prefer Iba. I'm not taking criticism from the chat that that let Iba win by a landslide over Tama. Transformation dispel. Was anything transformed? Maybe you can use it on that thing. Only a minute left. It's about the inside joke. No, it's not. It's not. It's a picture of a frog with a crown. W wait, which one's the new one? It's this one, right? Titan Sid? The, the snack titans over here is not this one. It's, it's this one down here. All right. What's the question mark do? Let's go! Transformation Dispel! For Moran's Titan Sid! Oh. Is this the rudder of a ship? Or the wheel part of a spinning wheel? Right. The Thorn Princess. This wheel has the numbers 1 through 12 on it. It's like a clock. It's the thickness slider. After many sad events, she something to, to make to not make things worse, to not lose anything else. Okay, turn clockwise, turn counterclockwise. Hmm. 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 Clockwise. If this is supposed to represent a clock, maybe we can change the time. So if we turn it clockwise, we can get new information. First attempt, yes, it's very long. Now we can check the swings. The Thorn Princess continued to sleep. She slept to avoid facing her sadness. She slept, trapped by terrible memories. She did not want to be hurt by them anymore. No need to cry and shy away anymore. But, but why? Why do I keep waking up? Why do I keep remembering it? My chest aches. My heart breaks with yours. Never again. Thorns awaken me. Pop the balloon. Hope we have enough time to finish. Both the Somnium and the stream, considering how long this is taking, inside the thorns. I never knew this is how she felt. Any more of this could leave her hurt. Should we continue, Mizuki? No. It would be worse to leave her like this. Something's weighing on Kizzy's heart, and I want to take that burden away. She's one of my best friends. I understand. I believe in you, Mizuki. Her memories with her loving big sister was what kept her inspired. Sit. 60 seconds. Well! Hope this is the end. I want to stay together. Together. Kizuna, 
You said she will be with me forever. Is this when she and her older sister got split up? But please. Fine. Will you at least play a game with me? Remember how we used to kick our slippers up? You used to beat me all the time, but now I... This doesn't seem like the end to me. If I win, please stay. Please. Oh no. Fuck. 60 seconds? And you can't even use a, a Timmy on it? What the fuck? The rules are simple. Kick the shoe further to win. And just like we used to, it will be best of three. Shall I go first? Yeah, let's do this. Shoe kick. Play a shoe. Uh, play a shoe toss game with Kizuna three times. Win twice to get the victory. Tilt the left stick in the direction of the swing to charge up the gauge. I don't. I don't have a stick. I'm on a keyboard. What's the, there's no there's no stick. Maintain a power above the gauge's hurdle. When the shoe, when the remaining time hits zero, you will kick your shoe up. The shoe will travel the distance of the gauge. All right, cool. Sorry, you're out of time. Charge swing. What the hell? Why is it so hard? Iva, come on. This is my first time on a swing. Oh, is that all, big sis? <laughs> Maybe we have to like try and make it so we're we're making her swing higher instead of instead of mashing. You do, chat. It's my first day. Fucking chill. Look, we got there, okay? Good job, Iva. Big sis. So you want to leave me? <laughs> no, you've got it all wrong. Oh, are we, are we supposed to lose? What should I do, Mizuki? Maybe it's better if you don't win? <laughs> Bring on that Sonic the Hedgehog QTE test. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What happens if we win this? I think we're supposed to win, right? Yeah. Yay, we won! Kick and tear! <laughs> Kick and tear! Aren't you enjoying this a little too much? <laughs> Witness me, Mizuki. Observe my perfect control! The thorns! Oh, now we can read the next page of the book. All right, let's go over there and open it. I suppose I'm sorry, but you're out of time. I'm uh, going to pull you out. It's only six minutes to sign the... Good no. Cannot dance anymore or even stand next to him. He and I has true love vanished. Lie. This memory. Oh, I wish I could read. It must be the memory hidden away deep in Kizuna's heart. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horidori's research facility. What? This is what Kizuna was hiding. Wow. 
it's not a diary at all. Yes. She actually just hates someone named Ari. Marichi Chieda? <gasps> it's Kizuna's father's diary. Alright, I'm surprised we didn't have to reset that one. That was close. Pay out the believers. I suggest that you spend all those mana coins on a McDonald's Sprite. Feeling at home? And where I begun. Is the day about to tick over? During the sink, I made a surprising discovery written in Kizuna's dad's journal. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horidori's research facility. It was a diary. And so, Kizzy and I came to Ioan. Kizzy, is this? Yes, the diary that was in the chairman's office. 1.1 million mono coins redistributed. I'm gonna go to Dragon Center right now, and there's gonna be someone saying that they're broke, they're ruined. They're ruined so much. My god, all my mono coins are gone. There isn't! People believed! Plap, 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 plap. Get pregnant, get pregnant, get pregnant. What? That's, that's what someone's- someone did a gift there! This morning, father asked me to look for something in the office. I accidentally knocked some books off the shelf, and I saw this. When it fell to the ground, this page was open, face up. I knew I should not have read it. It, tur it turns out I'm actually not his daughter, I'm- I'm like a- a clone of- of his dead wife. That he's raised as a daughter. I regretted it immediately. Here we go. Terrible things were written there. Here we go. Things about a girl whose genes were forcibly rewritten. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I think it would be best if you read this. I read the diary that Kizzy handed to me. What it said was shocking. Super shocking. There was a girl, a child whose DNA was rewritten. Chikara Horidori performed this task himself, made her super strong. The goal was to find a cure for aging, but the results were unexpected. Instead, they turned her into a morbing girl. The child had superhuman athletic abilities. Strength, endurance, agility, they were all well beyond that of normal adults. Uh-oh! And those abilities only grew as she got older. The child was raised away from the other kids at ION. When she was three, she was adopted. That child's name was... Junk... Mizuki. Mizuki. The family name was Okiira. The girl so nice she was adopted twice? Mizuki. I'm genetically modified? Wait, what? Wasn't wasn't there like a whole plot line about how Mizuki's mom fucking hated having her? But they adopted her? What? What about daddy and mom? They weren't my real parents? Traveler. Happy, happy. Okay. Yo, Yagi Park. No way. Chikara's left half. Huh. The report started early this morning around sunrise. The body was. Okay. I, I, I and I bolted out of the house and came here as fast as we could. What house? Where are you living? Mizuki. Are you okay? Yeah. It's not the first time I've seen a dead body. No, not that. That is not what I am referring to. You hardly got any sleep last night. Also, we weren't on camera, you so we have to talk about this exhausted. now. No talking the whole time. No. I suppose that is perfectly understandable. Anyone in a similar situation would... It's fine. That's that, this is this. Let's just focus on the investigation. The body is Chikara's. If we can figure out more about this case, we can figure out other things. Was he, like, hollowed out again and stuck here? What's with the the weird, like, white outline there? No way. It can't be. Um, didn't I already tell you? Huh? I don't think so. Okay, well, my name is Kagami. Okay, Kagami. I want to become the best policeman I can be. Inspector Kagami. 
the inspector who loves to inspect with mirrors, Inspector Kagami. I know his name already. I don't think I need to ask again. I think I know his name already. I probably don't need to ask. What was his name again? Yeah, I instantly forgot his name. Let's ask again. Like I said, my name is... It's... Uh... Uh... What was it? Was it Omochi? Yeah. My name is Omochi. I feel like an Omochi. You're an Omochi? I don't understand this at all. What's really going on here? The DNA results came back already. Why? There's no doubt this body is Chikara Horidori's. Estimated time of death is 2.11 at 8 p.m. Nothing on his person. I mean, I see a lot of things. What's your favorite character in Wizard of Oz? We were, yeah, answer this one too. Lumberjack. I want a heart, but doesn't feel like that. Okay, do we, do we have to answer a specific thing? Keep cycling the same two questions. I never thought Horidori's left half would be found like this. How did you say this? This is found? downright supernatural. I don't get it at all. Was this always here? Where did the stone monument come from? Maybe it was always here. I can't remember the stone monument being here before or not. Someone who was jogging early in the morning. He said when he found the body, he didn't see anyone else around. He's getting interrogated back at HQ right now. I'm sure he's got nothing more to offer though. Somnium. Put him in Somnium. Nothing in particular. Park cameras didn't pick up anyone suspicious. Means no witnesses. We got nothing. What's like wrong? Mr. Beast? Well, thinking about what happened six years ago, how could this happen? Anyway, that half of a body is definitely Chikara's. I saw Chikara's right half at Seki Bahai. This is the other half. Huh? What? Like, mentally. You know. I'm fine. I'm more worried about you. You okay? What are you talking about? You seem kind of down. N no, I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. What, did you think I came here to play Frisbee? I came after I heard about what happened. I need to solve this case. It's my destiny. The investigation is at a standstill. Honestly, things aren't looking good, but that's no reason to abandon this case. Mr. Date wouldn't want me to just give up. He told me something, Ryuki. You have the potential to become our ace at Abyss. I believe in you, and I need to live up to those words. I... I need to arrest Terror with my own hands. I want to solve this case so bad. It has to be me. Why well, are we not talking about Zia. Date being dead at all? I wonder if Ryuki is okay. Date's not even dead. You, we didn't tell you? Oh, it's because you never asked. He seemed a little panicky. Alright. Yes, but we shouldn't worry about him right now. We should search the area, Mizuki. Maybe we can find some sort of clue. Oh, I want to inspect Let us begin. the corpse. We should okay. search this area. On it. It is Chikara Horadori's left side. It is cut at the molecular level. There are no other wounds to the body. This must be the cause of death. It is safe to presume the culprit is the same. Terror. This should be clear. But this is almost definitely not the murder scene. There are no traces of blood anywhere. The time of death is accurate to what the inspector told us. Oh, he was stuck to ice Last man. night, around 8 o'clock on the 11th. But why? Okay. Can I look at it? What is this? Letters inside the body? Why? There are metal plates embedded into the corpse. They appear to be alphabetic letters. R L E. That seems to be the case. Okay, were there letters in the other one and we just never looked? A E F. What is this? A mixture of iron powder, activated carbon, and saline solution. The contents of a disposable hand warmer. Something is written here. It is emitting heat. If you use thermo mode, it says A E F. It's an al free vending machine. Non alcoholic beer. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think. Do you feel like the game could have been shorter? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like the game could have been over already. It has so much wasted time. 
It's because the downtime between the the serious main story moments isn't as entertaining as it was in the first game. It, it comes across more as filler. This used to be the machine room. It was used to house the pump that regulated the flow of the fountain. But records indicate it is no longer in use. Again, why is that important? We keep, we keep talking about this. Oh. Looks like there's something there. We should take a look. A balloon? It seems to be. It's two colors. Half is red and the other half is blue. There's something inside. No need to use x-ray. We can see inside. Mizuki, try popping it. On it! Hiya! Jumping pipe. Two X's? Or perhaps two pairs of intersecting arrows? Hmm. What do you think, Mizuki? Letters on the body in the monument. And the piece of paper in the balloon. Terror is just playing with us! He does seem to be taunting us. Perhaps challenging us? It is certain that the culprit must have planted these clues. Mizuki, you need to solve this. You can do it. Yeah, I'll do my best. Those are the clues we have so far. Solve what? The letters A E F on the monument. The letters R L E inside the body. And the piece of paper with the two pairs of intersecting arrows. Do you know what this could mean? Think, Mizuki. All free. Shit. It's Al it's Al free, isn't it? Is it Al, Al free or Al free? How many were there? Is it Al? Al free. Al free the fray. Free to fray. I see. Al free. Our search should be related to that. It's here. Correct. The Al free vending machine. Terror must have led us to this spot. But why? So, is the message search the Al free? I suppose so. Then let's get right to it. Put the X's Wait, on. What are you going to do exactly? I'm going to buy an Al free. But you cannot. You are only 18. Why? It's not alcoholic. This is non alcoholic beer. Well, it is true that it is technically legal for a minor to purchase non alcoholic beer. That's true. But you have to understand the social and cultural ramifications. So, what do you want me to do? Okay, but it's, it's legal for her to be a police detective looking at a crime scene? But no, can't drink the. Ask Iba, ask detective, hit machine with pipe. No choice. We gotta do it this way. There's moment. no one in here. Hold it. This footage is weak. Weak? It will be too short. What's too short? My very important film. In any case, it is time to roll cameras. No rehearsals. Here we go. Somnium the machine. <laughs> Let's put a vending machine in the Somnium. I have no sure. idea what's going on, but... Oh well, here we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got it without buying it. Now it's fine. Wait, this isn't all free. Open it. Oh. Did I just say I placed three balloons? I imitated the same thing Terra did in the VR space. Well, not exactly the same, but close enough. As a result, the same can came out of the all-free vending machine. It's amazing powers your VR thing has, huh? I opened it and found a piece of paper. This world is a game, and I want to play it with you. If you win, I'll give you a nice hint. I placed three balloons in random places around Tokyo. The balloons are red and blue. Look for them. We're going to have literally every single location is going to be on the map again, isn't it? Literally every single location. A challenge from Terror. Bring it on. I'm up for any challenge. Do you realize how big Tokyo is? How are you going to search for them? Isn't it obvious? I'll do it on foot. Do you have a bike? And these balloons have been around for, for six years, have they? Oh, it's not everywhere. Okay, here we go. I wonder why we haven't seen Shoma yet. 
Maybe they didn't want to uh, make a um, updated Why like age model of uh, Shoma. Unknown, but I see a balloon over there. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. This isn't one of Terror's balloons. It's just a balloon. I suppose not. Decoy balloon. This is all red. Yeah, sorry to say, it's not the real deal. How do you know? Boss. Iba told me about Terror's challenge. Oh. He thinks he can play with us like this. Mizuki, are you hungry? Even if I was, I'm not gonna go digging through trash. Why not? Not good enough for you? Oh, look who's too good to eat from the trash. Perfect for dieting. Then I guess I don't need it. It's boss. You're only 18. What do you need more money for? I've had my eye on a bunch of stuff. Clothes, handbags, grenades, etc. You really think now is the best time to be asking me for a raise? Multi-millionaire, Talk by the way. to me after the case. It's inconceivable. It's like washing your bra without putting it in the net. I would say it's fairly more inconceivable than that. I got called here because of a particularly troublesome co-worker. Is it me? Ew. Ryuki. He was too gung-ho and ended up making a huge mistake. Ryuki found out about the whole balloon thing from Tama. He came to this amusement park to investigate. Some part-timer was net. working here dressed up in an Adarabic costume. He was apparently tying balloons to the fence. When Ryuki saw that... Stop right there! He shouted at him to get his attention, but I guess the guy didn't hear. There was a paper bag at the mascot's feet. Later, we found out it had scissors in it for cutting the strings of the balloons. But when the guy reached down into the bag, Ryuki must have thought it was a weapon. What? He shot him? Yeah. Woo! Police officer shooting at a civilian. It's unprecedented. Uh, first of all, it's not. But what? 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 what, what we... This is going to be a real scandal. I don't think Terror's balloons are here. How are you doing on your end? Find any yet? Nope, haven't found any yet. Hmm, slacking off on the job, huh? Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm looking for a lost TV remote in my couch or something. Those are even harder to find. About the shooting. This is coming out of nowhere. Why don't you ask Boss about the, the genetically engineered diary thing? She has connections. I cannot apologize enough. This was my mistake. I wasn't paying enough attention. What? Dismissal, but... He's young and inexperienced, but he's an excellent agent. Can we please reconsider? That's surprising. I didn't expect that coming from Boss. Of course, that may not be literally what was said. All that was in a dream, after all. A dream? HQ closed off the park. They came up with some stupid reason, like they found something dangerous on the grounds or something. The higher-ups are in a frenzy working on a cover-up. Whoa! And unfortunately, that means me, too. The guy in the suit was listening to music. He had his earbuds in. That's why he couldn't hear Ryuki. Is he dead? He only just started putting them up. He was going to put up more, but... That's when Ryuki came. Are any of them uh, red and blue? He's getting interrogated at HQ. I saw him earlier. The man looked unstable. <sighs> I just hope he doesn't do anything stupid. <sighs> I need to clean up this mess. Then yell at some people, then do my best brown nosing. I've got a long day of diplomacy ahead of me, so I'm gonna get going. Good luck with the rest of the investigation. Is Ryuki gonna be okay? There is no point in thinking about him now. Watch the video in Den and End. We're just calling it Den now? Where to go to drink? Okay, so I just have to answer questions until it was over, okay. Can you answer more questions so I can become an adulty? Do you like insects? Neither. Dislike. Dislike. Blocked. That's Iba. Shit. Want to raid Dante's VA? He's live right now. Are you gonna behave? Charge swing. What the hell? Why is it so hard? Does, 
that's 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 just the twitch clip with extra steps what why are you question marking it you're the one who posted it like i clicked on the wrong one what the fuck are you talking is this is wrong this is from you i'll post it again oh all right here's the updated one Up updated meme report oh okay here we go charge swing What the hell? Why is it so hard? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, where's uh where's Dante's VA on stream? Here's a good video for you. Oh we're just we're just looking at videos. Oh it's deleted! Greg Chun Chun VA. Alright, hopefully, hopefully you all behave. Alright? Raid message? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm scared. I'm scared to say because what if it's not funny? Is it is it actually Date's voice actor? Am I being trolled? Then it has to be porno mag. Oh no. Oh no. All right, have fun. Alright, see you later. See you tomorrow for more uh for more Alsonian files. See you later.